What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Wildcast. This is episode 13. We made it past 12 onto Unlucky 13. I know it's been a little bit since our last episode, but we're back. And in this episode, we're joined by me, my co-host Big Jiggly Panda, as well as guest Cryos Gaming, Tahiti Nogla, and 407. Having a good time. Chat about all kinds of stuff. But as you guys know, support for the Wildcast comes from Manscaped. Manscaped is the best in the world when it comes to below the waist grooming. And they've got some big news for you. They just released their brand new cologne. It smells amazing. Now listen, we've all had a little mishap where we've been trying to trim up down there. Got a little cut. All of a sudden, now we got a slug with a bunch of white and red polka dots all over it. Doesn't look good. It's not good. Manscaped is here to help with their incredible technology and grooming supplies. You guys have all heard me talk about the Manscaped Perfect Package 3.0 that comes with the Lawnmower 3.0, the greatest ball hair trimmer that humankind has ever come up with, as well as their beautiful crop preservers, crop cleansers, and crop revivers. Beautiful. But guess what? Manscaped didn't stop there. You guys can complete your grooming game with their brand new refined cologne. With the same signature scent that's in all Manscaped formulas, the cologne is a perfect complement to the collection. It's light, approachable, gentlemanly, in all the right ways. Think of this as your wingman on a night out to keep you nice and fresh and smelling great. It's calming and inviting, and the signature scent introduces a light citrus burst before settling into the anchoring notes of vetiver and a woodsy masculine finish. It smells good. This 50 milliliter spray is even hypoallergenic, cruelty free, dye free, paraben free, and 100% vegan. I don't know how that's vegan. I don't know how it makes that it's vegan. This beautifully designed glass bottle makes a statement and the manly scent is attractive to set the mood. That's right. It's time to feel sexy. No more waiting. Head on over to manscaped.com slash wildcast for 20% off and free shipping. That's right. Click the link down below in the description or head on over to manscaped.com slash wildcast. Your balls and body. Well, thank you. Oh. Ooh. That smells good. Fine. All right, my woman just gave me food, boys. I'm ready. I want to see Nogla just chomping down on some chicken legs while we're fucking mid conversation. Yeah. It's gonna be we the got, background music. Got, right? I hope it's not background music the whole time. You God, that one time he was eating Chipotle while we were playing, he literally was like <laughs> eating it so fast he lost his breath. <laughs> like had to do one of those. Oh. One of, those, one of those trying to catch your breath through the fucking shit, swallowing. Yeah, dude. And try not to choke on it. Don't get fucking inhale a piece of the corn right down your goddamn throat and cough. Choke it all up. What's the wow. you? That's the real question. <laughs> Look, Scotty, he just think, came up from like the Scotty, He did, dude. He's coming up for hat. air. <laughs> Wait, do you have a snap cam? You could get a fake hat. Oh, that stuff? Yeah. Dude, my frame rate's fucked. You're at like oh, no. three FPS. What is on your microphone? What did you put on there? <laughs> Sock. What do you mean? It's a normal pop filter. See? <laughs> Why does it look so fucking yeah. weird? I guess well, it just doesn't. Sock. Doesn't. <laughs> oh, it, it was, was a sock. <laughs> it looks uh, like a condom you didn't put it. on. You didn't put on very well. When you say it was a sock, do you mean it? You, like it used to be one you wore regularly. <laughs> now it's on uh, there. Actually, you no. Smell it one all of my time. least favorite socks. I didn't. Oh. I think I wore it maybe like twice. Was it worth wearing like, or coming in? This. Useless ass no, sock. Pretty much. Well, because it stretches out <laughs> like, like so that. much. You know, the cum just flows right through. Oh, I've, I've never I only have came into a sock. Like, it seems like such more. small real estate to aim. Oh, where's the other sock? <laughs> no, you just put the whole small thing real in there. Estate. Yeah, you just it, it's a condom. Like, do you do you the jerk day. over the sock or do you just sort of like you jerk into the sock? I imagine you're in the sock. Well, I think he means like, do you put the sock over and then jerk off while holding the sock and the cock, or I feel if you like just that would cause a lot of friction, or the cock in the sock? What if, yeah, I was about to say like, what if your timing's yeah, off and you're just like trying to shove your schlong into a sock and it's just you miss? That's the podcast it, like, started. Off to oh the yeah, side. this is it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it this started. Is, this, this is, is it. the first topic. <laughs> oh, I just hit record and we just go. Ah, but <laughs> we do all the <laughs> intro and shit. At I feel like yeah, we do the intro later. Come into a sock if you want to come into a sock. I feel like there's infinitely better places. What the hell is that, Scotty? What is that? That's kind of a big hat, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> <Are> you, <laughs> I couldn't figure out what that was. This man went from no cap to nothing but cap. <laughs> oh, you need a cap, guy. 
You need a cap. Hold on. There it goes. Just don't move. <laughs> Yeah, go. That's one oh, just for dude. the video audience. That's great, man. <laughs> Looks perfect. Doesn't look too small at all. Like you see like bushels of hair sticking out the side. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you look like you look you're like five. Codename next door. <laughs> you look like you have the hats that go on like the Napa cars or whatever they were. I forgot what the fucking cars they were, but there was always cars around my area that had hats on them. And they were massive. What? I thought it was great. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I don't. I think they're in Napa, right? I'm Googling One it. thing that I do find very entertaining. Yeah, it was Napa and is Auto Parts. Cars pretty with hats. Rare. Look it up. Cats or cats. <laughs> Cars with hats. <laughs> that is a shortened form, but you're going to get something completely different. I, but yeah, um, they used to drive around like these cars with hats all the time. And I was like, dude, that's so fucking sick. But cars with hats, that's cool. But cars yeah. that look like dogs is better. Like hot dogs? Is like it Napa? Oscar Cars Meyer with Mobile? hats. N-A-P-A. NAPA Napa Auto Parts. You know people that go around oh, and yeah, cut their dogs? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, why yeah, don't I remember dogs, these? They cut their dog's hair and stuff to go around cutting people's dog's hair. Yeah, yeah, my mom and got had one a bunch of friends stuff. that did that, yeah. 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 So my mom, yeah, used to, my mom used to work at a vet, and she would recommend one of her friends that did that. Yeah, I like the, I like the ones that go around and they got a dog for a van. You know what I mean? The ones that have dog oh, like vans. Dumb and dumber. Yeah, like Dumb and Dumber, dude, the shagging yeah. wagon. <laughs> I've seen a few of those. <laughs> I have <laughs> not. A few. <laughs> Thought you were a Christian I've never man, seen any. <laughs> I've seen a few of those shagging wagons, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I, I, was, I was committed to the sentence before I heard that part. Uh, okay. uh -huh. It happens. It happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. I well, need more barbecue in this. <clears throat> we'll go get you some. Uh, What'd well, you get? How you live? I started yet, technically, so. How you live? Get me no fucking barbecue in there. I, I'm going now. He's lived he's in America for too long. He's, yeah, he's finally Americanized. God. <laughs> it's coming back out of your mouth, Jesus! Yeah, he's not worth eating. So he's waiting till he got barbecue sauce. I couldn't that on one it. had bones in it or not. <laughs> what are you? How small are these chicken bones? What do you mean? This? <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty straightforward where the bones are in the chicken. Yeah, they're usually the parts that are hard. All right. Anyway. Something I was gonna mention was specifically because Nogla, you weren't there, but Scotty, Anthony, and John. It has been almost a year. Since last PAX, it'll be in true three weeks. Oh, I never go Jesus. to that. Yeah, three weeks. That was a year ago, which was the last time I traveled Before anywhere. Before we knew any of yeah. this was gonna happen. No, it was still. There was like, I remember people were talking about it beforehand. There yeah, was but like, everybody's like, I don't get fucked. Eight hundred thousand like people, one small ass <laughs> building. Just give me some hand yeah, sanitizer. I'll be fine. Seems like <laughs> such a terrible idea now, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you guys survived. You're okay. I feel like things are gonna be weird right. once it's actually like yeah, 2020 vision. So good. See that shit. It's like, oh, we're, Dude, we're honestly, I meet up. I might wear a mask anyway. <laughs> Dude, going outside, especially now that it's colder, just stay warm. It's nice. Until yeah. it gets wet. Get the hide wet. I don't know why. Perfect. I just feel like it's gonna yeah, be so awkward. Because like I see it, I've. I've Tons of people have said this, but I get it too. But like, you watch like a, a movie or something, or like an old show or something, and it's just like a large group of people gathered. And someone's just, you're just like, like, yeah, you're, you're, like you're not supposed to do that. Happened. It just doesn't look right. So I'm curious. We like, gotta go back and see the films that came in at like 19, 1918 or something. Wasn't that the H one, the first one, the swine right. flu? I don't know when. Maybe the, I'm telling. The, it was the Spanish flu, maybe in 1918. The Spanish flu, yeah, I think right. Go or was that in the 1800s? I don't. In 1918, they had like. Their films were filmed. There, at I'm sure there's FPS. another pandemic happening there. <laughs> yeah, but look, dude, they might have done some silent films or something, and you got to look and see how many people are there. Maybe they were the cause of it spreading so much. Something to think about. Maybe they, maybe <laughs> I they had packs in 1918. I read something recently that I uh, said bullshit. It's 85 percent most likely that the virus was accidentally leaked from a lab in Wuhan. Leaked. 85 percent. How does someone yeah. come up with that number? Like, how do they? How do they run a calculation and come to 85%? 85% I don't know. Accurate. Probably, probably both sides. I've read everything. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> it's probably he's both sides. He just read it. He just read it. I said I just read it. Read it on the onion. It, it was there. I read it. Well, supposedly, Sexies <laughs> this year will be... They've said June is what they're going to try. Awesome. Or have they canceled that yet? Or is that... They definitely. No, I think it's still on. I know of. I think I'm it's surprisingly no still like planned. You know what was going to happen last year? I didn't go to my first Coachella. 
Yeah, you didn't miss anything. Yeah. I think James Howard would have tried to touch me or something. <laughs> You'd probably be better off not going. You would have let him, wish. dude. You would have let him, dude. That sweet ass would have seduced you. You would have been all up in there. Yeah, there's some solid memes around that guy, I will say. I, I, dude, hey, listen. The meme I'm, where I'm he, like, gay, sent a picture like, and he like asked the boys. <laughs> it's always a great way to start a sentence. I'm not gay, but... He's got, yeah, he's got, he's got, got a sweet set of cheeks, I'll tell you that. You guys I'm not see gay, my but I can fit a whole cucumber down my throat. My gag reflex kicks hey, in. Hey, poppy. Oh, where did, what you is this thing? where did you get this little rat dog? I've seen you post videos of it. Where'd trying you get to get this get thing? My he's trying to get my he's dinner. Trying to get my dinner. He's about to drop on it. hungry. What is this one's name? Bartholomew? We've got Joel. Tony, what's this one name? Bob? Bosh, Bosh, Bosh. This one ain't mine. Oh, this one ain't mine. When did... Hey, he looks young. When did you get him? Oh, uh, like a like a month ago. He's chilling. I really if he's not he yours. Who's his child? It's not my dog, dog. It's not my. Dog. Whose dog is breed? it? What breed? He walked it? in one day. We kept him. <laughs> so it's your dog. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's the neighbors. Yeah, they put signs right. out looking yeah, for him. We ain't giving right. him back. You ain't getting to my. Not until the offer gets higher. We ain't giving him back. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> this is our only information. On the free market, ransom. he's worth fifteen hundred dollars. He only offering five. Shit, you gotta hold out. Yep. Yeah. Just like yeah, the yeah. GameStop side. All right, I got the content out of you, boss. You can leave now. <laughs> you can I want to be where, where did he really come from? We bought well, him. I bought him as a gift for When a mom and a dad dog love mom. each other very much, Anthony, uh, they do a doggy style. <laughs> That's where he oh, came child, from. Dog. Yeah, the no, the yeah, the dog but the is mom a child. And da daddy dog, yeah. They had sex. It's the same as humans, just maybe like a little less sweaty. More fur. Mm -hmm. More definitely more fur. Well, hopefully more fur. Maybe not with Anthony. <laughs> Seriously though, <laughs> <laughs> I look like a werewolf from below the belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, how oh is god. how has everybody's year been since PAX? Because it's been it's been uh, a weird one. Constant downhill. I left the house a few <laughs> constant, times. <laughs> constant That's downhill. Dog. Existential crises every two weeks. Mm -hmm. I feel like Sorry, it just I has flown by. I feel like I've only like spent. It feels like it's flown by, but it's also taken two months fucking forever. Yeah, we're not like, doing anything. Like, yes, and no. It's flown feels... by, but I feel like there, it, it's never going to end. Time feels so off. Right. Like, like everything has so stopped skewed. except for time. <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking weird. Well, not around here in Tennessee, brother. They're back up and running. Everything's going just fine out here. <laughs> dude, I'm going to make Florida trucks. tomorrow, and I'm terrified. <laughs> oh, Florida, dude. Oh, I've Lord. seen videos of Florida. I don't, I don't think they even believe in masks at all. No. Yeah, Marcel said I he think you can Florida, eat ass wear in public in Florida. They don't care. Probably not. I'll be you wearing mine. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> Might have to go to Florida. Oh, it's fine. Tickets are cheap right now. <laughs> I don't get why and if nobody's wearing masks, you'll have to buy a one-way ticket. <laughs> 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 it's like I'm moving. <laughs> That's a lot cheaper. I made it's the so joke nice earlier because everybody that lives in Florida, Scott can attest to this, is probably oh. like the average age of like 95 and above. So they're all... Anyway, so why wear the mask? I mean, fuck it. I mean, they're probably out there doing coke and types of drugs anyways. What the, John, that you sound so different. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was my... I swallowed a squeaky... <clears throat> I swallowed a squeaky toy. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? This little <clears throat> dog. Uh, I don't know, but there's an unseen enemy attacking it. <laughs> What's his name? Bosch? Like Bosch? Bosch. 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 Yeah. It's like Boshy, but without the Y. No questions. Cute Bosh, little, come here. Cute little rat. Come here, Bosh. Rat terrier dog. Rats. Rats make me crazy. No. Crazy. I was crazy. <laughs> what is that from? Dude, I have no idea. Flowers for Algernon? A, is that what it's from? I learned it when I was in a bowling alley from I think a that's friend what it's from. that I knew. I'm about to Google it right now. What is that? But that I just said. There was some, there was some kid in a bowling, station, a bowling alley, and Algernon. he just started doing that one rat. day. And I was just like, that's fucking annoying. Rat. I want to do that. Whoa. Hold on. I think that's what it's from. There's a bunch of different versions of it. Is that what it's from? Crazy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. Is that what it's from? A rubber room with rats. Now I really want to know. But now I'm spending crazy. time looking this dumb shit up. Once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. There's actually, there's a really long form one that just like goes, it's like a long rotel it loops. I'm Googling it right now. I have to know. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Crazy. I was crazy once. What is this from? 
<laughs> the first search result is your fucking YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. Easy promo, baby. There it is, baby. That's an old video, too. When was that? 2018? Uh, I can't tell unless I click on it, and I don't want to give you any views. So. Bass Mountain Dew flavor, by the way, gentlemen. Just coming back to contribute some spectacular. Voltage? Was that Voltage? voltage? Yes, it is. I don't think voltage. I've ever had it. That's blue flavor. I would say it's syrup. the best bottled one. The blue, blue is the best flavor. What color is your piss after drinking yeah, it? Purple. Oof. No way, that's the poop. The red? Poop is sometimes it's purple. full of blood. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, did get a, um, I did get a red poop. I got the red poop of death after I had what? some nasty batch of red hot Cheetos. That <laughs> morning after was rough, dude. Rough. I think that's just a normal batch the of red, red hot poop Cheetos. Of death. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a condition. Like Did you get diagnosed? Doctor no, comes in. Self, Sorry, self. sir. You've got you've got the red poop of death. <laughs> <laughs> There's no cure. Uh, no, no. Well, the, the cure is just push through. You know what I mean? But <laughs> when I, when I just bite down on something. And then and go get, get another bag of red Cheetos. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, you know what? I, I checked the poop, all right, because it was burning hot. I checked, I goes, what, what in the hell came out of my ass? Hmm. And uh, <laughs> it was like, it was like I, I shit blood. Like it was sh really like I shit blood. Did it taste like, like you shit blood? I didn't really check, John, you know, honestly, mm -hmm. you know, that wasn't my first thought or my last. Um, but, you know, now. next time, I'll let you know, yeah, I'll let you know next time, next podcast. Is that what you put on but, that turkey, Anthony, red, red hot Cheetos? Yeah, that's what it called for. <laughs> Freshed up flaming hot Cheetos. Did you Wait, have is it a red case hot of Cheetos the red poop a... death or whatever? I thought red hot Cheetos was a band. No. Uh, I had a full bag. It was not a good decision. Red hot Cheeto peppers. <laughs> uh, I, the last time I had the red poop of death was when we had those chicken wings. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh. Ooh. How did that go? I think mine was that, that, I had two uh, that was my second time doing it, so I actually handled it really well. But it was It was misery for like 10 minutes. And then... Dude, sometimes mm. I wonder that, if my stomach sort of like acid is just corroding my ass and yeah. like whenever I just shit sometimes. It, it, it's, <laughs> uh, it swells up your rectum. Huh. That makes yeah. sense. It's like like it does feel like it gets sort of like inflamed because it feels yeah. hot. Yeah, it definitely. Like, it'd be the one time the like I wish I had a bidet that I could like put ice cubes. Yes, in cool yes. There is a bidet you can buy on Amazon for $25. I saw it on TikTok. I would not trust 20, that. I, it sounds yeah, refreshing. I, I saw I it. It was good. It Dude, looked the one legit. Is, I was just talking to Anthony the other day about bidets. I was going to buy a bidet. <laughs> I was going to buy a bidet. But this bidet, bidet you connect, you connect your it, toilet. I'm in the process right now of building a new house. We were going to put a bidet in that shit. You need a bidet. I want you a bidet, bidet, but there's not a plug <laughs> close enough bidet. to my bathroom. It's bidet. <laughs> Bidets scare me, dude. I have like this unreasonable fear that the little, you know, the spout that sprays. Is gonna go into like overdrive and like blow a hole in my taint or something. It just <laughs> lifts you off the toilet. Oh! Like, a, like a like a fire hose it's or fucking something. Fucking blast like... his nutsack like a fucking speed boxer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, dude, one way you can get used to the day is just tuck your dick backward and pee on your own asshole. It helps a lot. Mm. I'll try that tomorrow morning. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. No problem. <laughs> problem I heard this reminds me of the guy it's that catches the poop in his hand. Do you don't catch the doo doo in your hand. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, there was some guy, some guy on a podcast. On a they were, podcast. Yeah, they were talking to him about taking a shit or something. And apparently this guy had gone his whole life. I don't know. He had to be like in his 20s or something. Had gone his whole life oh thinking that this purpose of toilet paper was to put it in your hand and shit into the toilet paper and then put it in the toilet. And that's what the guy had done. I'm just telling you what he said on the podcast and what happened. His and everybody, were, he's his, like, you don't catch the dookie with your hand? <laughs> like, no. Like, what happened in the learning of potty training? Like, right. Like, yeah, I don't know. Was there no guidance? Was he raised like, by what, monkeys? How was, her, how was his parents taught? You know what I like think? They had to teach man, it's just a whole line. The ancestors <laughs> right. all the way up. This whole family lineage. Like, pan shitters, dude. They just, they've all been just shitting in their hands like monkeys, dude. They probably never do shake their family's hand. Yeah, never shake their hand. <laughs> shake their... No, they use <laughs> this more is toilet paper. Because <laughs> they put no, toilet paper can... in their hand before they catch it. Wait, how do they do diarrhea? Oh. That's the problem. That's the man <laughs> these, are, these are the things where, you know, your mind, you just want to stop there. You want to cut it off there and not <laughs> yeah, think about it. Oh, they, they break the, oh, the rare there. occasional rules. You guys, um, do you guys have any food that like makes you trip balls at night? Like when you go to sleep, you grab food before balls. you go to sleep? Yeah, sometimes I eat some psilocybin mushrooms. <laughs> 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 no, I've seen I mean, the, like, uh, the TikToks of that girl people, walking like, around crazy dreams if they eat cheese before they go to sleep. Mine is McDonald's. If I have McDonald's before I go to sleep, I know I'm going to be tripping balls. 
I just I, don't, I don't think I pay attention. I've never heard I of this. I actually genuinely can't think of the last time I had like a very vivid, like crazy dream. I actually don't remember. I feel like I don't dream ever. I don't remember. I don't, rem I don't remember my dreams. Better off. I can't I remember. remember like, I can't remember the flashes dream. of my dreams. My dreams are just so fucking boring that sometimes I wake up and then like there's a small little memory segment of it. I'm like, did that happen or did I dream that? <laughs> I on nothing. Is that? I mean, I've definitely had dreams where it's like it feels real because it's such an ordinary yeah. situation. Yeah, it's just like but there's so things that are boring. off, like the glitch in the matrix yeah. or some shit. I think the only <laughs> dreams I remember are the ones it's not rendering in. The only dreams I remember are the ones <laughs> where like I'm about to take a piss in that dream. Yeah, we had we you talked about up. that in the yep, last dude. podcast. Yeah, we talked about that if last they, time. If you hear running one, water. That's the only dreams that water. I can like remember are ones that I immediately wake up for, from because I'm like, <laughs> my <laughs> sister is like, pissing. you're about to piss yourself. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that story Code you told red. about Kelly pissing the bed and blaming oh, you the dog. So she was so fucking mad, mad about that. that? <laughs> yeah, she was so. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't talk to me like that all night. She was really pissed. I can't believe you fucking told people that. She was really mad. Like, actually, really mad. Uh, and I was like, uh, it was very funny. funny. <laughs> like, nobody's. Yeah, it's true. Everybody's done embarrassing shit. It's like, we didn't have to tell and everybody. I'm like, I did. It's funny. She's totally yeah. fine with tweeting about losing a debit card like four times in a month, but peeing the bed. Yeah. Too far. The only part of it that was in, that was, like I mean everybody's everybody's pissed to bed at some point I don't remember the last time I did it but I remember the last time she it's been did a while, it but I've but done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The funny part was that she tried to blame it on the dog. <laughs> that was funny. She thought it was gonna be an easy getaway. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell the whole story, story again. You can go back yeah, and watch no, the episode. No, don't. But you gotta watch she tried the to last gaslight her dogs. She tried to gaslight me, tell me that, that it was well, the dog, too, but. I, I woke mean, up yeah, to her pouring like... water on the, on me on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're pissing! <laughs> yeah, you don't remember it. Okay, so I don't remember who all I told the story. I guess I'll tell a little bit of it. I don't but yeah, it now. Essentially, Stop she, peeing. essentially she had peed the bed, and she was I trying to pour story, a little actually. bit of water on the bed to make make me think that she spilled the water bottle. That was way more than a water bottle's worth of dampness <laughs> on the bed, right? It's a warm water she bottle. Spilled it a couple times. I was like, what I the a, fuck? I, and then I she kind goes, of a recent story. Did keto too? pee? <laughs> so, I was like, babe, I'm, that is not fucking <laughs> keto. And then I she say, finally I've got a recent comes story clean that ties to me. Into this, though. She finally comes clean to me, and she's like, "You cannot tell your parents." We were staying at my parents' house at the time, so oh. we told my parents that it was the dog. <laughs> <laughs> until they saw the video. No, what was so yeah? Good. Until they saw the video. But what was great is about a month later, Kino stayed with my parents and he peed in their bed. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> really, things really well, worked really out. Like, really like, really this time, he's like, Easy. "Oh wow, that story is now really believable." <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, though. Uh, uh, I, I actually have a recent story. So, uh, so you guys, who has partners here? Uh, I guess a few of you. Um, but anyways, it's okay, John. There, there. <laughs> you've got your you've got your Texas chicken. I'll be but, your partner. Um, but oh, uh, you do you ever do you, uh, do you guys have like two different heat levels? Like one is the hotter partner than the other, and like yes. if you have to cuddle, you're I'm always the, the one who one. pulls off. Yeah, it's like yeah, so we someone's are. always the oven, right? Well, and, for us, um, he knows the oven, and then he heats up yeah. Kelly, and then now I need to get away from Kelly. That's how it I works. I thought Kelly was the oven. I thought she just peed to warm everything up. But, That's very, well, very occasionally does that happen. Yeah, Kelly I'm, I'm a random sweater. Okay, I'm a random sleep oh, yeah. sweater. Okay, it won't happen yeah, by by random. It's very rare. It's very rare. But sometimes I go to sleep and I'll just wake up all sweaty. I'm like, what That's the, the hell was I doing in, in my sleep? World. I hate it. I hate it. You so gotta get gross. back in bed and it's wet and sweaty. Yeah, it, yeah. Like it only happens it's not to me. It only happens it doesn't to me smell with like piss. silky Random. sheets. That's the only time it happens to me. That's when I get sweaty. If it's like it usually happens to non, me when I eat not very breathable bedtime. sheets. I think it happens to me when I, it happens to me when I eat too close to bedtime, and I just like my stomach's just like that. Warm. Might be it. Yeah. Well, that yeah, it sounds like me. But anyways, <laughs> so could be it then. What happened recently is I. I know I, I'm I'm a bit of a sweater, possibly potentially, right? And and Aaliyah is the just an absolute icebox. No roasting radiator, Ro oh, absolute radiator. Okay. She a radiator puts the usually cools she, things down. Usually, no, not radiators. Yeah, no, a radiator no. in a car is typically for cooling. But the radiator in a house, 
No, uh, yeah, well, I'm talking about the Irish radiator. radiators, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Irish, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, Brian was, if only Brian That's was. That's why he said it in an Irish accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was, I was cuddling. I was cuddling. I fell asleep cuddling. I usually, I usually stop because I know I get too sweaty, right? So I'll stop. <laughs> I get too hot. Two completely different heat levels. I have like Irish skin. She's got California skin. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's got to be environmental. But <laughs> I woke up. It was a few days ago. I woke up and. And she's like, she's like, why is there, why is it so wet here? Why is it so wet here? I'm like, what do you mean? Why is it so, why is it so wet? And like, I, I pull my leg off her. It's stuck like glue. I, I'm pulling out. I feel my legs. I he feel my legs. Like, he had a wet dream <laughs> stuck like glue. I've got it all figured out already, Nugly. You don't have no, to no, 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 no. Story. No, okay. In the I need to finish it. Oh, well, you did finish it. Did. She's yeah. trying to figure out what's going on. I'm checking my legs and I'm like, okay, they, these hairs feel a little off here. This is a little, this is very weird. I, it was so freaking sweaty. My whole, not my upper body, just my legs. Both legs were like, like Gotta I was shave. doing a marathon in my sleep or something for like five hours. They were just sweat everywhere. Yeah. I went into the bathroom. I needed to get a towel to dry all of my legs. They, you know when your legs get really wet and your really hairy legs? That level of wet. Like that level of wet, wet. That is oh, wet, wet. wet, wet. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Them wet ass legs. <laughs> I don't have any hair. I had to put a towel over where I, my legs decided to just sweat for however god uh, john's man. fucking hairless dude look at him like a naked mole rat look at him <laughs> my legs are to be honest, i'm kind of similar shit. mine aren't super super my legs hairy. Are hair and the hair just keeps going boys <laughs> oh my god and oh, the wow, hair god. just keeps going my my you dad is a caveman man. boys oh yeah man. <laughs> clean that right up boys <laughs> Hey, is it really? Pretty clean mine up. Yeah. Nah. Oh, wow. Wait, no, that's just bad growth patterns. No. Oh, I, I want royalties for that. Manscaped.com slash wildcast. So you don't even need to use a code. You just hit that URL. Boom. You're good. You, know, you can shave them. Late, shave your balls. Shave time. your shaft. Shave your nose. Shave your ears. They got everything. One thing yeah, I do appreciate. I from what, do they do have, do they have butt wipes? I'm, I um, like butt wipes. I just can't. I don't environmentally think, I don't think, condone them. I don't think they do. They have like ball toners and deodorants and stuff. So they can really ball really, toner. Really Explain focus. that one. Explain ball toner. So yeah. So ball. after you after you shower and you skin. you know you trim up your sack, you use the ball toner to like you know keep everything smelling nice and refreshed. You know that's really that's what the ball toner. And then the, like the ball de- ball sack cologne. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, that, it's pretty much. But they have the cologne. No the toner is more like a, a moisturizing spray for a post shave. You know, like when you shave and you get a little dry. Oh, you know like what? I'm mu- me, I honestly, honestly, not skin. gonna lie, not gonna lie, I might actually get that. It removes <laughs> wrinkles from your sack. I, 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 sometimes <laughs> the side of the sack Botox gets a little balls. dry, you know. <laughs> <Just> a little <laughs> dry. Yeah, well, side of the sack. Yeah, well, that's what you need when you're sitting yeah. down a lot. You know, what I mean? use enough of, of that bowl toner, your fucking sack will look like a globe. And uh, beautiful. Yeah. I mean, uh, listen, razor will glide right over it. They're a great sponsor, but the the lawnmower 3.0, like their specific like shaver that's meant to shave your fucking your unit down there dude it is phenomenal it, Yo, it, it has can they sponsor I'm not me actually, i'm not they actually saying can. that because they pay us dude, right, no, I'll, I'll i email. used it it's you just go to town and it does not cut you it can't it, like it just won't it just doesn't you just go to town dude mm. can i get a free you really one? haven't so used it on your face it you probably you know those little probably uh hook you up with a free one yeah you know the little skin <laughs> because that's one hair i do grow is ball hairs from the bottom of your shaft to your scrot there's like that little the taint? Oh, well, oh, wait, the no, it's not. The no, he's talking about that bridge. flap. He's talking yeah, about that no, flap yeah, that sticks yeah, out. Yeah, the skin you know? flap. Like yeah, yeah, this yeah. is your shaft. Your, your ball weenus. Like it's little... like the web between your fingers. Yeah, the yeah, webbing. That, your, ball yeah. Weenus. your ball weenus. Your ball weenus. Your dick sure. webbing. Your penis weenus. <laughs> this part. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the penis weenus. I'm always afraid to shave that, but with the like this, I'm literally just like I stretch it out like a bat wing. I'm telling you, he just you just go to town, dude. It's amazing. It's I, really I, you good. know what? Actually, I'm going to buy one right now. I definitely had to have some use of those. Our, use the link. Yeah, the link. Where's the link? Where's the link? Where's the link? Just type in manscaped.com slash wildcast. Or click the oh, link okay. down below. Get yourself, get yourself some good stuff. Do I have to? Does the video have to be a podcast to be sponsored? Because I'll just make up a podcast and just whack it on there. No, they probably you hook up a sponsor. Podcast, dude. And only Nogla podcast. They just really just like me. sponsoring this podcast because Anthony and I do a lot of crazy shit in our ad for the beginning, and people yeah, like you guys it. Have hair? Yeah, Anthony yeah, shaved, shaved his lawnmower. Yeah. The weed whacker, the crop preserver, 
the crop revival. It's all good stuff, dude. The That's lawnmower 3.0 is no joke. The magic so, man. Uh, what, hap what happened to the other two lawnmowers? <laughs> the shit. Man. What happened to the other two lawnmowers? This is our they ad. threw we them out because they made a better Tyler. one. What? Hell yeah. We don't even have to record an ad. This oh, we'll is still it. do an ad, dude. We'll, we'll just, <laughs> this is just tacked on. Dude. Damn. This is why they keep Leo's, coming back. You're going to be happy about this one. Look, we have a new customer already. The shears too. I can't wait to shave my face. The cologne day replenishment. <laughs> the oh shit, the plow 2.0, dude. <laughs> the plow, wait, what's the, yeah? I might you have new nice stuff. Landing bubble. strip. They sent me a box downstairs of new stuff. I, I haven't, do I haven't pulled it all face. out yet. That'll be I'll be pulling that out for the sponsor. <laughs> I'll make it look like Squidward. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do two oval eyes and then the nose. <laughs> 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 We get some like elf Oh, boys, check this. Check out this. Check. Boys, this is good. The crop mop wipes replenishment. Individually wrapped, refreshing moist ball wipes infused with LA. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. You got some swamp nuts. You can use one of those right now. You got some swamp nuts going on. You just go to town. All right, let's order this shit right now, dude. Watch the code. Watch the code. Do I get a code? They do have underwear, but I don't know. Huh? There's no code. You just type in Wildcast. It should give you the discount. Are they All good? Right. It did. It actually it gave me like forty percent off. Yeah, it's pretty. It's I'm pretty a big killer. Fan of nice underwear anymore. All right, but the underwear right. has to hold the balls nice. You know, no, just hold no. your balls. Can't have it be bouncing around. Oh, the underwear. It is nice. It feels good. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look into it. All it's right, really brother. <laughs> Short intermission while everybody buys Manscaped products. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Is uh, are Nogla and I the only two that lost a bunch of money on GameStop stock? <laughs> Yeah, oh, I didn't I'm, holding. It I'm holding, dude. It's going Nova's to the moon. Gonna make money on Ethereum. I had four hundred dollars yeah. in Ethereum a year ago. Now it's thirty-seven hundred. Oh well, hell yeah, nice. that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, I, I bought it. I bought half a Bitcoin like four years ago. Now that shit's fucking popping off. So that's pretty dope. I'm not selling go. it though. If it hits, uh, if it hits, I did tweet that if it hit fifty k, I would use it to buy a Pokemon box. I don't know yeah, if I'm gonna do that you now. Follow though. through. You know, you got definitely. If follow your through. share yeah, I can or wait Bitcoin for it to go, in total, I could. Huh? If Bitcoin, Bitcoin hits 50 or your share, if Bitcoin hits 50k, then my ha half of Bitcoin would be worth 25k, which means I can go buy like a few different first edition boxes or a base set box. We'll the thing see is, though, Logan Paul's new shit. True. The thing is, though, if you ha if you convert Bitcoin you back one? into money, back into dollars, you have to pay taxes on it. But if you buy something with Bitcoin, you don't. So I would have to find someone willing to Capital sell me gain. their shiny cardboard in exchange for my imaginary coins. So. <laughs> I'm sure it's out there for sure. Like, yes, there's absolutely. a dude there for sure. Oh, yeah. The only issue is they might not like want to do it if it's like at a high point in the Bitcoin, though. Because then it's like, oh, it's going to drop type of shit. Who knows? Dude, one thing I do wish is whenever I did all those Cisco sponsor videos, I wish I took more into Bitcoin payments directly. Because fuck. <laughs> yeah, like three, pretty, four years ago. pretty good off right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I could have gotten like just... A lot of money sent to fucking straight to my Bitcoin wallet, and now, dude, like if my Ethereum that went up to four hundred, just imagine that shit now. Yeah, this is not financial advice, by the way. We're all fucking morons. Oh no, we're all no, idiots. I just, I don't, forgot don't I even invested that. <laughs> the game, I'm the, the worst AMC. investor. I sold it. <laughs> this is okay, not guys. financial or investment advice. I am giving financial us. investment advice for anyone that is actually interested in it. My brother, my brother's been the going. We, my brother's been asked in 24-7 for the past two weeks, and he's figured out, okay, he's figured out that really good <laughs> This is not financial advice, but just continue. This is 100% financial <laughs> Don't advice. Don't say that! If you lose people money, they can fucking sue your ass. Can they? Yes, that's why people say that. Oh, you can't fuck with okay. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, you're, in no you're, not, well, you're not in Ireland. If you were in Ireland, I'd say fuck it. Who cares? You'll be fine. Look, okay, if you're listening to me, that's already a problem. But anyways, here we go. That's all you gotta say. This is not financial advice. I'm a dumb <laughs> fuck YouTuber. And then say what you gotta say. You should be getting into, boys, is called Phantom. There it is. Phantom? That's it. Why? Why? That's why? It. Explain What's it. Good oh, about it. Why? What's good about it? What does it do? Nobody can explain Apparently. any cryptocurrency well. Apparently it has a very good reputation and has yet to hit the mainstream. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like every crypto. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well... Well, they've got good partners. They've got good partners. I heard of this one that hasn't hit mainstream yet called Dogecoin, but... dude. That's the one you need to get on. Oh, yeah. It has no real world value. value. It is Remember, not like, all limited. the big ones years ago of like Ripple and like Tron and all those other Ripple's ones still were, like, like popping off. There's like Litecoin. Ooh. There's a fuckload of them. There's Litecoin. There's so I remember Cardano. Okay. 
Tron okay. coin. There's a bunch of dumb ones. I got into my Binance and I have, I lost money. Um, okay, here we go. <laughs> this is this is what it does. I actually got what it does. Okay, okay. It's, got, on that ins, one. it's got instant transfers. Transactions on Phantom are finalized in a couple of seconds. Cost a fraction of cent. They're secure. They're scalable and they're Ethereum compatible. So they they're apparently they work with Ethereum. So if this if Ethereum goes up, and this is used as a oh, tool Ethereum. to transfer Ethereum, then uh, yeah, it, it would go up too. Sounds like an ad. Mm. Again, not financial <laughs> advice. We are dumb. Not financial YouTubers. advice, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's not, it, totally flipped the script on that. Not <laughs> financial <laughs> advice, but if you happen to put a couple of grand in there, you might. Make <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Like, I convinced yeah. Nogla and Brian both to put money in GameStop. Yeah, that was look, terrible. Look, I actually. <laughs> when? When did you guys put it in? I, so, I put I put four k in and I'm I put I'm money in when it. it was at I put money in when it was at one forty, which was like the day before it really like got super super How popular. Did you lose money then because I didn't sell it and now it's at like sixty because oh. I thought we were going to the moon. The bag. Listen, yeah. I'll explain the whole thing. All right. Bro, you know how long I, NASA I doesn't even go to the moon anymore? I caught wind of it like la it like early days. The, the Tuesday fuck? or Monday before it, it like really Tuesday popped off. Yeah, before it really popped off. I got in at like one forty. And I only got yeah. into it because I understood the principle of it, which was essentially people like these hedge funds had shorted the shit out of the GameStop stock, meaning that they had overshorted, borrowed the stock from someone else, sold it in the promise that later on they would buy the stock back and give it back to who they borrowed from. And the idea is you buy it, you know, you sell it high, you buy it back later when it drops. And they had shorted over 100% of the stock that existed, which meant like when they had to buy it back later, shit. yeah, it meant when they had to buy it back later, there was... They were more that they had to buy back than was available on the market, meaning they had to buy from people currently holding the stock. So the idea was if you bought the stock, you would hold it. And then when those margin calls happen on that Friday, because the Friday of the 29th was the end of the week and the end of the month, which is when a bunch of contracts for trading expire, all these hedge funds would have to buy a shit ton of it to cover their shorts. And so the idea was you would buy it, hold it till then, and then a short squeeze would happen where the price Still goes holding. up Still because holding. a shit ton of hedge funds yeah. would have to buy it. I thought that sounded legit, all right? So I got in, I was like, cool, and then the internet went fucking crazy, and there was a bunch of people getting in just because they were like, GameStop's going to the roof. They didn't understand it at all. They just got in because GameStop was going through the roof, which was good for the people who already bought it, but... Bad for the people who... Yeah, I bought in at $300. Let's just say that. Once, <laughs> Friday, <laughs> once, Friday, <laughs> once Friday hit... Well, people thought it was going to go to 1000 2000 5000 There were legitimately people that thought it could go to 10000 because the amount of shares Dude, that US were shorted... like the most delusional fucking country right now. The How did they shares, get out of it? How did they get out of it? So I... We don't know, but there were rumors that they covered their short positions like the Thursday or Wednesday before, but then some people were saying that that was just them trying to cover their ass, saying they did to drive the price down, but it looks like they might have actually done it. And then they shorted the stock again when it was at the top at 300. So basically, they just <laughs> so kind just of helped them yeah. out. Yeah, they just covered it both ways. They're like, oh, it's going up. Fuck it. We'll cover the shorts now. It goes up. All right, now we'll short it again. And now it's back on the way down. Um, and plus, a bunch yeah. of hedge funds would like send money to each other. Like they would bail each other out essentially and like they oh, can they exactly. can buy and trade the the, the stock back and forth Between to each other themselves. yeah there was like a, it was to a lower the value of it and it basically, basically they're a bunch of rats yeah but the gamble was rats. can the rats. internet rats beat hedge funds that was essentially the gamble and i was and like dude the, answer, the internet's the fucking no. undefeated dude but hedge funds are quite literally undefeated they are hedge even when they lose the government bails they them out they win. cannot lose they don't yeah. lose ever and yeah yeah when they lost I mean, it, is that a water bottle, bottle or a fucking <laughs> a propane tank for a grill? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus I'm just Christ, up, baby! <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> anyway, the anyway, the internet lost and pretty bad. And but there's still a chance that the short squeeze will still happen. But now it's all the way down to like fifty bucks. I got out. I gambled a little bit, but it wasn't like 16 million in that shit too. Like, yeah, some guy, I, some I, guy, like some stock. guy was I believe up. in the future GameStop. They're going to turn this fucking boat around somehow. I don't know how they're going to do it. They're going to turn they the boat around. Bankruptcy. So that's the thing, I'm right? Whole, it's going to go up to a couple This is not bucks. financial advice. Yeah, this is not financial <laughs> advice. But that's the thing, right? So the, the company was up to $300 per share, which put the value of the company at like 25 or $30 billion. GameStop is not worth anywhere GameStop fucking close cheap. to that. It's like a billion dollar company, if that. Not yet. <laughs> what was GameStop at the reason feet? the price was, was going up was not because people are like, oh, this is a good company to invest in. It's because they know that the price is going to go higher when all these hedge funds have to buy back in. Just supply and demand. If you own the stock, they have to buy it from you. The price is going to go up. That was the idea. But 
Now that seems to not be happening. And so the price is going to go back down to reality, which is probably like 20 bucks a share. So I'm like, <laughs> wasn't it five before? Yeah, well, all this? that's because they were shorting it. They were shorting it into the ground. They shorted the stock down to like $2.50. It was pretty much worthless. They almost fucking bankrupt the company pretty much. Well, they didn't right, bankrupt dude, it. The... First of all, don't. Jesus. It, GameStop's already worthless. <laughs> it is worthless. <laughs> yes. But, but Nogla's holding. But yeah, Nogla's, he's, he's hanging in there. Does anyway, deep long fucking value. Did when you sell? get in at three hundred, no, gotta, deep, deep fucking like, value has not sold yet. I don't know if he sold today. I'm gonna look right now. So he was up like what did he lose about thirty million. <laughs> he was up forty million dollars on. Just nuts. He played. He he put in this call option for this back in like 2019 or something. He's been in this for like a year and a half, and then all this shit popped off. I'm trying to see. Wait. I'm trying to see. If he I has to like him. testify for all this. Yeah, he's gotten a lot That's of a fucking. Lot of money he's gotten like a lot of attention into. for this. I don't see it anymore. He might have sold. I don't know. He was posting updates every day at like market close. Um, but yeah, I at one point, at least like his investment let me back up. GME YOLO. Let me see. I don't know. I don't know if I can find it. But yeah, he was up like $40 million. But over the course of the last three days, that $40 million has gone down to like less than 10. I mean, he's still doing okay. He turned 50 grand though. into multiple <laughs> millions of dollars, but he could yeah. have sold at $40 million. But yeah. hindsight's a bitch, you know? 40 is a lot better than 10. Yeah. True. February 1st, February 3rd. I haven't seen a post for February 4th. February 3rd. Wait. Did he sell? <gasps> no. He's down to 22 million yesterday. I don't know, but he should be way lower today. Anyway, yeah, look. I got into it as a gamble. I didn't put more in it than I was willing to lose. I was doing it for fun. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm betting on the internet. The internet lost, man. They failed. Yeah, you know what's so, funny? You were mocking me. You were mocking me in the middle of all of this. I was like, dude, I kind of want to sell if it goes down to this or that. I kind of want to sell. And you were like, pay for it. You, you we're were here. trying to sell. Here we are. So listen, here listen, listen. Are. The reason I was telling here you not to sell is because you were trying to sell before like the actual short squeeze was supposed to happen. The idea was it was supposed to start on Friday when all those happen. calls were happening. And then throughout this week was when the price was supposed to go up. So yeah, sure. You could have sold, but you would have sold before like the whole point of buying in happened. If that makes sense. Yeah, if you would have sold, then you would have... This is why I'm not a financial advisor. I'm an idiot YouTuber. Don't listen to my financial advisor. <laughs> anyway, I had fun. I, I gambled, lost money, because I can't go to Vegas in real life. So, fuck it. We'll play the stock market <laughs> casino. <laughs> and I learned my lesson. Now I'm back to my normal, boring, put money in. Now he's back leave it, leave Pokemon it leave you guys, for 20 years. Yeah, now I'm back to Pokemon cards. Check out these pickups, brothers. I done got the three legendary birds, first edition. <laughs> Me and the same nine, hey, motherfucker. Hey, yeah. yeah, brother. Put them over here. Volteon, Jolteon, and Flareon. <laughs> Volteon, Jolteon, and Flareon. <laughs> no, Fuck not the quite. water type. There's a new uh, TCG coming out in March. I pre ordered it. TCG. I mean, totally. Oh, you mean for Pokemon? Yeah. Battle Styles? Uh, yeah, Battle Styles are coming out in March. Shining Fates comes out in like I pre ordered that stuff, boys. I'm jumping on that train. Oh, battle style. Yep. <laughs> Do it. Do it now. Oh, a new car pack. Well, you can still afford it before Logan. Yeah, it's Paul a new, it's a new set, essentially. Yeah, true, true. John, you Here's never got into question. Pokemon? The, I did way back in the day, but what's the next set that's going to stop being sold? Um, it's usually like here? a year and a half back, but they can reprint stuff whenever they want, so it's not really. Oh, I think the cool. last one that they stopped printing was. I think Crimson Invasion, I think they recently have decided it's fully done, which was like a 2018 or 2019. Track of the I don't know. Anthony would know more so than many. me, but usually the, the price usually runs for a couple I that was like the better years. thing to try to get is like the cars that will, won't be printed soon. I mean, it's generally better to like buy older a... vintage stuff because as people like that yeah, has been stopped printing. It won't be made anymore. Yeah, because as people open it, there's less and less available to be opened. Um, mm -hmm. But the Prices on those are crazy, crazy high. Like just Evolutions, which was like another base set reprint in 2014, five years ago, just in the last month has gone from $500 for a booster box to literally like 1100 now. Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're coming out with the like, 25th the one anniversary one next, this year, too, right? The boxes yeah, yeah. that are ending next, you can keep on those for like five, six years, and then you'll have the next valuable Pokemon box. Yeah, but, every, but, every, but, but everybody has that same idea now, so you don't really know how it's going to turn sure, out. Yeah. As long as Pokemon stays popular, then yes, it all should go up. Um, Dude, I'll be honest. Pokemon stay popular longer than I ever expected. So yeah, at this yeah, point it I seems expect, at this point it seems pretty safe. Popping. I mean, it's like it's just a very like big a and pop culture. It's like it's like superheroes, it's right? Intertwined. Like yeah. old yeah, comic books from forty, fifty years ago are always going to be I mean, worth Pokemon money. Pokemon really are just superhero animals. They are, dude. Pretty much. Except that we control them. 
Yeah, and we ball. force them to fight. It's really actually kind of brutal yeah. if you think. You know, there's actually there's actually when, a, when will the a, PC a lore? culture cancel that shit? You know, cancel culture is gonna cancel Pokemon. <laughs> Peter's there's actually right. a lore in one of the Pokemon uh, games why there's like so many children and so few adults is because there was a giant war between all the Pokemon and humans and all the adults and all the Pokemon died and it's just the children really Jeez, left. Where did you hear this? I don't remember. Yeah, this. What is dark. Did you hear that in Lavender Town or some shit? <laughs> nah, nah, I don't know. I read it somewhere. <laughs> Dude, Wait, I love Nogla like so far. Or like so Reddit. far, this podcast, Nogla says there's an 85 percent chance that Wu that the coronavirus escaped a lab in Wuhan. He read it somewhere. Accidentally. There's uh, a yeah, new yeah. there's a new uh, cryptocurrency you have to invest in because he read it somewhere. And <laughs> and then the reason there's so many I kids got another in one. I got another one. I got another one. Bosch. You want you want you want to know you know the, um, the elongated eyelashes that women wear. Mm -hmm. You know what they're yeah. originally called. Cumbrellas, because <laughs> because they were invented in 1884 by a prostitute in England to cover her eyes from getting cum in them. So there you go. Read that somewhere. <laughs> I need some cited sources. I feel like you go on like a MLA subreddit of just like fake facts. Yeah, <laughs> I read that, that from fakefacts.com. <laughs> nah, I saw it about an hour ago. <laughs> it doesn't. He was watching a documentary. The timing doesn't make a difference. I'm looking oh, up okay. Cumbrella. <laughs> it's sounds not, like a really fucked up Disney princess. We got Cinderella, we Cumbrella. Got <laughs> I just typed in Cumbrella. Yeah, oh, you find it. Oh, there's a Cumbrella condom company. They got a free fucking. Ooh, there's, there's a little a, shout out. Literally right an there. umbrella you can put on your dick. I think <laughs> I read. Somewhere. Well, umbrella. if you read it, then fake. Must be well, true. I mean, it's an Urban Dictionary, but it says eyelashes. I don't know. Someone who lets everyone else come. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, well, I'm looking this up. And I'm not seeing any information on this. What? Maybe, maybe they're blocking it. You know, that made made for it. No proof on. Here it is. I found it. Did prostitute Gerda Peridl invent fake eyelashes to um protect her eyes? Here we go from the from the Samachar Central. I don't know what the hell I would pronounce that. But this is from go, uh, Wikipedia. Here you go. Here you go, boys. Prostitutes can be inventors too. <laughs> oh, nobody yeah. said they couldn't. <laughs> there you go. go. Uh, the main issue is it looks like the article is kind of in English and French. Back I think it. This is I, I might have got the I might have got the date wrong. I might have got the date wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Do, I don't really see anything in here calling them cumbrellas. Yeah, I found something that's like it maybe started in 1910 from like an actress in Hollywood. But it's also like, maybe not. Because there's something about 18. Well, she made the patent for him, I should say. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. How about that? But I can't. Umbrella patent. I mean, it, do it does say, unfortunately, must start, it starts with a bit of grossness. So, like. Yeah, here we go. The <laughs> if you're always getting your loads blasted eyelashes. in your fucking eyes, get some hey, This one is from racked.com. There you go. Imagine you. This one says eyelashes fell out from excessive sex, and so it was especially important for women to keep their eyelashes long to prove their chastity. <laughs> so I think it was a more so thing of like uh, almost like a mating dance. How the better a bird dances, the more mates mm. it's going to get. A prostitute, you know, the longer her eyelashes, the more uh, what's the word feminine? Femi I can't say that word, but she looks that way, you know. <laughs> So I think that mm. it's sort of somewhat that because if you think that we try to mate with the people with the strongest genetics or like that's the ideal way to, you know, grow and get yeah. a stronger Big food chain. Fat ass right? and titties, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so if you want to make a Apparently. strong family of big ass and fat titties, first of all, kind of weird. <laughs> I Second said of big all, titties and you fat gotta... ass, but sure, the inverse works. <laughs> Look, man. Big regardless. ass and fat titties. <laughs> <laughs> it's still the same thing. It is, it is, it is. I said the inverse works, but, you know. Titties are literally fat anyways, and a lot of other stuff, but mostly fat and milk. I can attest to that. <laughs> <laughs> First hand experience in the call right now. For those that are listening, Anthony shake so I'm just thinking, titties. Yeah, I'm sure I'm they can thinking maybe it was out. something more like that instead of <laughs> keep cum out of that. <laughs> Nogla, what, uh, what happened to your boy Conor McGregor? Walk us but through also it. Also, maybe the same. Oh, you know, I kind of half predicted that because the thing is about Conor McGregor, he's he's very like I, in denial. How are you gonna say himself. that? How are you gonna? I literally remember being in a call with you and he Brian playing Minecraft like a day before, and you said, "You know, he doesn't oh, stand yeah. a chance, right?" 
Yeah, he, he should have got smashed. <laughs> So Conor, Conor, McGregor, kind of Conor McGregor it? messed up. Conor McGregor messed up big time. But but I look, I'll be honest, it's kind of good he lost. Kind of good he lost because he's, 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 he's a little he's a little deluded. He's a little deluded because he 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 looked at losing to Khabib as oh, I'm just bad at wrestling. I'm just bad at like grappling, whatever, right? Uh, or I'm bad on the ground. But when he lost to Dustin Poirier, and he, he got put he it was a KO. It was a KO. His eyes went sleep. So basically <laughs> He got yeah, just right like that. Brain. Yeah, when he lost in stand up, that's basically okay, Connor. You're shit everywhere. You can't just say you're bad on the ground. You're shit everywhere now, and which means that Conor McGregor 2.0 is going to be is going to be there. He's kind of 1.5. That's that's the version Conor he was 2.0 fighting. 2.0 is going to be a fucking accountant. <laughs> He's going to call people. <laughs> Oi! I I think he'll come back really well. I think he'll come back really well. I think it'll be better. Did he, he leave his old better. training staff well, or something? Is he going to be worse? Imagine. I don't know, man, but he definitely needs a better team. He needs to get Dogo, a what team. do you think about him fighting Jake Paul? You mean, wait, Conor McGregor fighting Jake Paul? Isn't it Ben Askren that's fighting him? Well, no, yeah. but like Jake Paul wants to fight Conor McGregor. What are your thoughts? Oh, Jake Paul would be put to sleep for sure. Like, that's, there's no doubt. That's why he's fighting Ben Askren. Have any of you seen Ben Askren swing his arm? <laughs> no. His, honest, don't his chin hit the floor. It's, yeah, it's it, it. He's the guy that got kneed in the head by Masvidal. You know that, that got knocked out in five seconds. Got kneed in the head. Yep. Yeah, I do that know. that guy. So you know that's how people know him. That guy, he can't punch at all. He's he, he he's he's worse than literally everyone in this call. Like any one of us here <laughs> could probably take that. him in the stand. No, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Do you want to see the clips? They're they're shockingly no. bad. I don't need what to see a clip to know they that, have... that guy would beat Dude, your ass. Dude, Stephen no A. Thompson could Mark fucking Russell. take on Ben Askren. Are they boxing? Yes, they're I mean, boxing. That's the problem. The oh, thing right. is, if it was wrestling, Jake Paul would get get rammed and and, and absolutely dogpiled. But he would check his boxing. oil. Wouldn't he? he would check his oil, wouldn't he, Nogla? I uh, check check out the, yeah yeah oil check. I'm <laughs> <laughs> surprised you know what an oil check yeah, was. I, I just learned that, that a week ago. And a, and a bunch of I, I was in high school. There was a bunch of dumb fuck wrestlers talking about that shit. Oil checking and stuff. <laughs> That's where you dip a couple fingies right up in the bee hole mid wrestling. Just check that motherfucker's oil real quick. Right. I mean you are bent over a lot in wrestling. Us, it's actually used. It it's actually <laughs> used as a legitimate tactic it's for a, a reversal. Tactic, it's called man. an oil they'll check. Ch- they'll check your oil, man, mid wrestle. Hey, you there's what? one move. Um, they'll also there's suck one you move off a little bit. Know. Let me tell you guys about this move. Please so there's these, there's there's these boys I watched the UFC with, and one of them. One of them showed me something spectacular. He's Where Hulk. is it? Dude, I'm okay, be 30 th- this, this year. Is... I got to get my oil check. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Not looking forward to that. Okay. I'm only a couple years away from that. Here, here, How thorough you want to check, here's Scotty? A, here's an image for you guys. <laughs> I don't know what this move is called. Full Nelson. Is an image? Nelson. Yeah, it's an image I just put in the chat Four real, real quick there. I call that hitting it from the back. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah baby, know. full scissor, dude. <laughs> well, that's a, I've been that's in that a legitimate a submission. The, 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 the guy holding it, not the one that's getting stretching. rammed in the ass. That, that's a legitimate submission in the UFC. It's just obviously really hard to do. Okay, but to explain this, it happened to like a friend of mine. He's, I asked him what it felt like. He said it feels like your balls are going to burst. <laughs> Because they're literally what? splitting your legs like this. Oh, oh and so it's rip your tape. Are, <laughs> yeah. So needless to say, he tapped, or else his his balls would burst. Yeah, that doesn't sound funny. You guys want to hear another story too? I got. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell it me out, more about the tape. There's ripper. this guy called Bryce Mitchell in UFC. I'll tell you what, he's just one of them Southern boys, a good guy from Nashville. Oh, he's a good, good old boy. Yeah, hey, man. Yeah, who's who? America is at the heart. Yeah, he of, checks oil right? just for fun, dude. What happened yeah. to this guy? He was he was doing something in his farm, right? Doing his farming, right? He's a UFC fighter. He still farms, and basically, strength. something happened. It was in a tractor. It was in some machine, but basically, or is there something he was holding in his hand? But it dropped, and it actually caught his balls open, right? Uh, okay, next topic. <laughs> Scotty took his head it like off. <laughs> it like dropped. Like that, his name is Bryce call. Mitchell. It like dropped into his pants. And it spun around and no! caught into his like right, genitals, right. and basically oh. he, he thought his whole sack was just tore off. 
<laughs> open open not? up his pants to check, and his balls were still how intact. About the, how about the Super so, Bowl, guys? Who's going to win yeah, that? Yeah, happening this Sunday. Yeah, dude, I remember yeah. there was this one show. Anyways, called, uh, he drove himself called? to the hospital, and he ordered fast food along the way. Okay, he's a UFC <laughs> fighter. Thank you. There's a show on MTV back in the day of people getting in like really bad accidents, like skateboarding and biking and shit. I don't remember what it was called. I remember there was one where a guy busted oh. his nuts open. Was it called like skating. thrashed or something like that? It was called some shit like that. I don't know. I oh, fucking man. Moist Critical was just looking up on a stream the other MTV. day, and I do not remember the fucking name. It's just That's one terrible. word. I remember a really good show, a Thousands Way to Die, and one guy um, and that was that was bomb. One of the stories I'll never forget was um was the one where this the guy out in the army. Oh, that one. one 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 guy died because his really heavy partner fell on top of him during sex and he suffocated that's you know a classic <laughs> scar the army gone, sorry yeah no no that's not the army that was a different story oh, i just sorry. remember the army there. story is this, kind of army story is this. <laughs> okay yeah i combined them a little bit here we only have so much time we got to get it all out there right Live i'm sorry i'm sorry go ahead <laughs> okay so with the army one with the army one how it happened was apparently it was two males one female and they were positioned somewhere in some other country and the, oh. One of the guys was getting along with the female and they started babbity boopy. All right. Okay. What's the, that other guy, <laughs> the other guy, would, apparently they were out camping or whatever like that. He hey, saw babe, what was going on. Would you like to on. babbity boopity tonight? He, 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 yes. Code word. But uh, <laughs> basically, he saw what was going on. He knew what was going on. So, he, you know, he got a little, little spicy in his pants. He came across, was it, I think, I'm not sure, was it a skunk or a badger? Something like that. <laughs> But he decided to grab the badger or skunk, whichever you imagine. Badger. Imagination Badgers are ours. fucking mean. But it was at night, so it could have been a badger. But I think it was a skunk. I'm not sure. Could have been a badger. Probably a badger. But <laughs> basically, <laughs> that's besides the point. He yeah. started. He, he starts fucking this thing, right? He takes it and he starts fucking it. It gets really mad, really angry. It turns around and bites his dick off, and then he died. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a badger. Yeah. How many there. penis stories do you look up on a weekly basis? I no, I don't look up any. I don't look up any. I, 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 I saw this one ten minutes ago. That one I saw about fifteen years ago when I was a teenager. No, but you seem to have a lot of. Have you ever seen the Pain Olympics? Uh, oh, the BME Pain Olympics. I like I yeah, like the, the guys that do the slapping stuff. They're cool. Okay, you haven't seen the Pain Olympics then. <laughs> no, the I don't. Pain like Olympics this. are is the a slap very it, guys. old They're cool. TV or not TV is a very old internet thing i would do not recommend looking it up but they pretty much just take they have their cock and balls and they just torture them that reminds me a bit too much of like a reddit 50 50 i like that shit scared well, this me. I had to stop reddit that. Was invented yeah i had to stop reddit 50 50 i couldn't do that stuff reddit anymore is just some fuck shit though but it was like that type of thing there's one where i saw the guys it was like his testicles came out of his ball sack can we stop? yeah I, I think i saw one guy put him uh, oh yeah this yeah he okay, a, yeah, this is why I. Yeah, balls. this is this is the clip. Yeah, I'm remembering. Oh fuck. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> like oh, so, fuck. there's a Reddit fifty fifty. Reddit fifty fifty is like this old thing you used to be able to do on YouTube before the ad apocalypse, right? <laughs> and where they demonetize stuff. You used to be able to do Reddit fifty fifty, and you'd have to blur half the video. But basically, you'd go on Reddit fifty fifty. You get like a really good thing. Like uh, I remember doing it with Brian, and he was really hoping for like Jessica Alba's boobs. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he was really stoked about it. And um, basically, the other option, and it wasn't this option, but just to fill the story out for you, the other option Please. was a guy cutting his dick off. And dude, it, 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 if it's something to do with penis and it's bad, you're going to get it in Reddit fifty fifty. No, it was I don't want it was it. an African guy, and he straight up had a machete and just went. Bam! On his dick and just that's okay, it. All right. And that was the moment I never ever 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 wanted to do a Reddit 5050. Oh yeah, let's talk about anything else. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, we were like, talking about dropping saws on balls. My cousin dropped a saw on his face. <laughs> we're not talking about well, saws on balls. I got some other I got some other no, stuff. Don't, don't um, talk about it earlier. No, it's not penises, it's about snacks. That's so phallic shaped. <laughs> It's about snacks. So, like, Transition whenever you're, whenever you're getting sprinkles. like, uh, yeah, whenever you're, you're getting like food, your it, there's like, there's like a lot of stuff that you don't want to, you don't want to get. So, like, E40, don't get stuff with like E40 in it. E40. But I got, I got these. All right, I got these. I, I, I like Pringles, but when I eat them, I got tummy aches. So, I got this instead. It's called the Good Crisp Company. Okay. How many and ads can, did you post? Like, come on. No, it does, I'm not promoting anything. I'm just saying, if you don't want tummy aches from Pringles, get them because they don't have that E40 stuff. They don't have all that bad stuff in it. So I'm just saying, soy? Like, maybe you're soy intolerant. I'm not soy intolerant. I ain't. 
How do you know? Is what that the mean, only difference? He read too, somewhere that he's E40? not. Just because it's a rapper is in the other fucking Pringle can? You E40 can't do is it. like an artificial coloring. It's actually illegal in Fruitful, Europe. That's rude. It's, I it's think really he had a lot you. of good songs in his time. <laughs> that, uh, that, he, E40 is a good. He had a very sure. unique voice. I Might think. be a different. Kind of sound yeah, like, he sounded like, like he, he was. You know you ever get that? You know ever get that frog in your throat? Yeah. Kind of sound like you're talking. He was a frog. Fun fact: E40 was a frog. He was part frog. A little bit. Rip a dot ba ba doo. That's how he rapped. That's how every song yeah. was. Blip a dot ba ba doo. You just sound like you had that, like after you like kind of burp or something, you got that. You talk, yeah. Guys, how much better would your lives be if Kanye West became president? Um, um, probably it would, a lot. It would probably, probably a lot. stay about the same, awesome. but the content would be pretty good, yeah. <laughs> my time, my Twitter timeline would be a lot better than it is right now. Or was I yeah. Guess we'll see his tweets. Is I feel like I feel like Joe Biden is very boring to meme. You just kind of you just kind of meme him about being. I kind of like and, it. I, I like uh, it though because with with Trump it was just your your you know everything was memes. It was constant memes and constant just a fucking shit fest on Twitter. Now with Biden, it, everything's more quiet. You just mute yeah, all the like politics. The, You're not missing out like on nothing. The first complaint is I can't meme him as much. It's not too bad of a complaint. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> yeah, I don't Seems know, but I, I don't really care what happens too much to, to the world. So yeah. <laughs> I'm just really here for the memes. Disarray. I'm just here for the memes. Yeah. Were you just tweeting something about being nihilistic the other day, though? That, oh yeah, but I can not give a shit about the world, but care about me and people around me. But that doesn't mean I have to give yes. I don't. Look, I'll be honest. I don't. I don't care about probably ninety nine point nine percent of everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. True. You know. I'll just care about I the point one percent. I feel like most people are probably that way. They just can't admit it. You know. They like yeah. to. They like yeah, to make you everybody think they likes care to about think everything. they love Africa, but they'd never go there. It's a joke. Why'd you have to pay. <laughs> Because that's places. what they do. That's what they do. They, they like. They. That's. That's what they do, man. That's what they do. <laughs> you, you know, really? Africa is one of the most siphoned continents ever. You know how right. wealthy Africa would be if they're allowed to have a proper economic climate and they want siphoned and controlled by the, by countries because around them. Because they're not them. invested in that cryptocurrency, honestly. If that's, that's what they, fine, they dump all their resources right now into into Bitcoin, Doge. Into, into Bitcoin, <laughs> Doge, and Phantom. Those make Who knows the official where they could be 20 years years from now. Send Africa. Africa to the moon. Who no yeah, we will send <laughs> Africa to the moon. You'll look up in the night sky and you'll see the moon with a green fucking Africa on it, dude. That'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of Is lit, Africa dude. bigger than the moon? Africa's a big ass fucking continent. It could. No, how big is the moon compared to the Earth? I don't remember. Is it it's like one? It's like one sixth, smaller. right, or something? Well, that's smaller. the mass because you have one sixth Earth's gravity. So, is it? The moon is a bit more than one. Oh fourth. no, man! It's a big rock. I know that. It's pretty big. <laughs> well, the I moon know that is it's very convenient. It's very convenient that Earth, that the moon up. is the same. How does it go? Proportionally, the same distance away <laughs> between the, the Earth the and the size. Sun as the proportion of the size of the moon and the Sun, right? So that way they literally overlap perfectly. So you're pretty much saying like. The sun, the distance and scale change from the sun to the earth is the same as the earth to the moon. Yeah, basically the, the sun For like is... the same distance traveled, the scale has changed this, like in the same ratio. Yeah, the, the moon is the perfect distance away from what earth. What do you think, Scotty? The moon is the perfect distance <laughs> away from the that's, earth. That's a nice rock up there. Yeah, the moon is the perfect distance away from the earth, which is the perfect distance away from the sun for like the two the to be the rock. same size in in the sky. We're getting way too into the weeds oh, here. You, you guys want to talk about Minecraft? I like the rock that glows at night. The big rock <laughs> Yeah. You're pretty much saying that they're in the perfect the position to blows. support life. And if they were in any other position, we'd all be dead. No, I'm mostly just talking about eclipses, dude. Well, I also, if they were in any different position, life would be completely different, though. I remember the solar eclipse like three years ago. That was pretty lit. I remember it was here in Nashville. Also, well, nihilism whenever isn't not nighttime. caring. Nihilism is something completely else as well, John. I think... I mean, not caring is nothing not to do with nihilism. No, it's not. Uh, I don't know about that. I, if you're looking I, for I, think, I think it's a bit... To say not caring isn't related to nihilism is a bit... A stretch. No, it's just people are people who believe in nihilism are losers. That's why they don't care. <laughs> they don't. They don't like. They don't care about anything. They don't even make an effort about nothing. Not even point one percent. They're like, oh, I have to care about everything or nothing. Ugh. Nothing is worthwhile. Maybe that's what I will see, just yeah. shit my pants into bed. No, that's not. Ni that's nihilism. That. Or piss themselves. Yeah. Yeah, and then blame their dog. So uh, how's the purge going? Everybody here is in the purge, right? 
except for me. Oh, the Minecraft perks. Well, I'll tell run? you what. I have not felt too many things as demoralizing as spending 24 hours on a Minecraft server only to get my shit rocked during a two-hour purge and everything <laughs> yep. that yeah, I worked that for stolen from Pete. me. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to, to Pete, Pete, man. Dude. Pete fucking we just hid last purge. Pete fucked me in the we butt, stole all my stuff, and left me naked and afraid. On the third <laughs> server. Dude, I saw After I spent 20 hours trying to become the most powerful person on the server. <laughs> Dude, I just saw I get his fucking six feet last last purge. I'm just like, yeesh. Yeah, yeah, ever since, I was in there. Ever since that From happened, I'm like, like yeah, dude, the purge too. almost just a wacky thing, man. I'm not taking it too serious. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the last like, purge, we just threw, <clears throat> threw on some invisibility potions to fuck with people. Mm, yeah, we fun. just robbed last going. time. We just snuck around and robbed some people. And they blew up their own house. John, you thought I you thought I blew up your house that first purge. You thought I was the one who went in there and blew up your stuff for no reason. I don't know it. who did it. Yeah, but you thought I did it. You were you were upset. I thought everybody did it. I thought <laughs> anyone. I was just blaming just someone until they confessed. Base location. <laughs> everyone knew who we were, where we were. Yeah, you were just right underneath the. That's because anytime they went to spawn, Dude, they could hear you guys just fucking the voice of the thirty five under the ground, fucking forever. twenty blocks down. It's because the, the voice distance is too long. Yeah, maybe. It has to be shorter. It's pretty it great how, how Minecraft just underneath. always comes back. It always It's always away. there. That's yeah, it finds a way. There's nothing else so when there's nothing else to play. play. <laughs> yeah, when there's nothing yeah. else to play, there's, there's always, always Minecraft something. to provide like, I actually think months of content. I actually think this year could be, probably be one of the worst year for games, the one that's upcoming. Well, so far the last 3 months have been about as rough as it gets and there's no good signs the next 3 to 6 months ahead. Yeah. I've been playing Star Wars. I've still enjoyed Among Us, but I know like people get tired of like every video being Among Us, but us doing all the mods has been super fun and like proximity chat yeah. is fun. But it's not gonna yeah, it's I'd, not gonna last forever and I would love to have variety. Proximity chat. I just can't imagine ever being good content again. No, Unless it's I, like no. another mod. No, I've like, been invited so to play like on mod thing. server like like, oh we got this cool mod. I'm like, is there proximity chat? And they're like, no. I'm like, yeah, I'm not playing. Proximity chat just makes feels so it's so perfect for a game like that. I don't know. It's weird not having it. No, it's perfect because you just you get cut off, so you yeah. get to just like lie to the person right in front of their face yeah. and then betray them <laughs> right immediately. Right. Like, like drop some bullshit voice lines like, oh hey man, how you and then just like walk away. Even yeah. though you killed them or something. Well, shit. Apparently you the new Pokemon people. Snap comes out on April 30th. That should be pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fun, but it's not YouTube yeah. content. Yeah, it's definitely not content. I've been having fun Especially playing Pokemon. Nintendo. Obviously I'll been opening opening the cards, but been playing the games too. Back for Blood for apparently is out in June. Oh, that's like the Left 4 Dead 3 game, right? That's what it's supposed to be. I'm check yeah. That out. Be that, was, that was probably going to um, be good. It's from the same devs, so. We just oh, got done honest, playing the new Zombies both, map, Noglo. What did you, what did you think? Huh? What, did you, what did you think of the Zombies map we just played before this podcast? The new Firebase Z. I couldn't figure out any of the Easter egg stuff. Well, obviously, we, we're... Fucking idiots, we can't do that, but I mean, just gameplay wise. <laughs> uh, uh, I think the exactly, first one was exactly. Uh, first one was better. Then first there's Anthony. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony ditched the games. He's like, fuck it. I mean, you're still playing fuck some it, stuff, but yeah, and then I upload them like a month later. <laughs> yeah, dude, 12 uploading footage off. late's the best. Far Cry 6, no pressure. apparently, that's in me. Everybody's like, oh, this footage is old. And I'm like, not on this channel. <laughs> but what's good about all those comments is then you just, you got a whole bunch of comments. Apparently like, there'll be a new Battlefield. Helping the SEO. Yeah, new Battlefield this year? Battlefield has been a uh, Halo, Inf in Halo Infinite? Maybe Halo Wait, Infinite Battlefield might be one fun is for good. Battlefield 1 was actually pretty funny. It was a lot of good I stuff I still go there. back and play it, dude. Well, I, I say that, but I just started playing it. I, is what I should say. GT5 so on PS5? We need a okay. uh, like a multiplayer shooter that's like Saints Row or Just Cause, where it's we need GTA Six. We need GTA Six or, ASAP, uh, but it's, uh, it's not for like three Heroes more years. I can't wait another ten years for GTA Six. <laughs> yeah, Heroes that was a General. classic. Dude, Heroes Scotty. and Generals was a classic, bro. We could still go back and play that. I'm sure. They, I did a sponsor video for them because they saw us playing the game. They're like, "You like the this generals? game?" I'm like, "Yeah, I do." And they're like, "You also <laughs> like money?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I do." <laughs> <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> you know what I like most? Corpse launches. <laughs> Rainbow Six Orbs. Quarantine? Apparently that's supposed to come out this year? I don't know. Is that really what it's what called? Is, is that a whole new game? Or like uh, it it, it, it all year. takes place inside of someone's house because you're not allowed to Yeah, I'm not, gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. 2021 looks garbage for games. <laughs> yeah. It really looks bad. It's Well, fun. everybody's been at home. I think 2022 will be are having a better year for though. 
Oh, it's going to die. Oh, I think, think Toys Mind Mind the the Minecraft oh, forever trip. and ever and ever. <laughs> What's wrong with that, dude? <laughs> Minecraft is like 10 different games. Minecraft is like that Cyberpunk. trusty old porn video you can always go back to if you can't find a new one. True. Minecraft and if anything, you can just fun. react to Fallen Kingdom over and over. Minecraft is fun until it gets to the point where it's like you have to start inventing stuff to do on it. Like, all right, we went, we got all the good weapons, we built a little base, we've got our farm, we beat the Ender Dragon, we beat the Wither, we did all that, and then it's like, okay, now I just gotta create my own things. See, that's, that. that's obviously that's you can do mods for me. But then when you have mods, it's like overwhelming for me. I I, doing doing the story of Minecraft is the boring part to me. I'd rather build cool shit. It's just yeah, like but if I'm gonna build cool shit, I'm like, I'd re like, let's just go in creative. Let's, let me fucking just build it. But that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Why would you go in creative to build cool shit? Then you're not really building cool shit. You're making cool shit. It's different. No, what's I, the difference? Building and making. <laughs> I just want to. Oh, I want, I want to building, be done and be like that was creating cool. something. I want to be done and be like I made something wasn't. cool. Why do I have to go and grind 40 hours of fucking... So you're saying that making is better than building? I'm saying it's the same fucking thing, John. <laughs> oh, dude, they're so different. <laughs> no, they're not. They are. You just don't understand. You'll understand Googling one day. I'm, You'll be like, I'm oh, Googling the definitions it. right now. <laughs> so you're saying that you make breakfast or do you build breakfast because they're the same thing? <laughs> what? Dumbass. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't breed with the chicken and lay I that egg. I cook breakfast. Let me look. Exactly. Right. You don't build yeah. it. I order I, breakfast. I put my eggs on <laughs> a furnace. John, you're definitely to be fair, building and making is probably... Okay, here you go. Here's the, the, here's the fucking dictionary 100% Yeah, they're contextually different. Oh, here here's the difference. Oh, Imagine this guy looking up a dictionary to find out the word between two... The, the, the definitions are almost identical. They have one word changed. Making is the process different. of making or producing something. Building mm -hmm. is the process of constructing something. It's the there same it is. fucking thing. Once again, they are different. I like how making... In the definition, has the word making. I was told in school you could not do that. <laughs> School's it's a illegal. fucking lie. <laughs> making. The process of making something. <laughs> that was that's literally the definition. If they could not be more producing, huh. that would be the definition. But what does making mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fucked. Google, yeah, your dictionary sucks so confused ass. at that. <laughs> I feel more confused than I started. <laughs> right? Their example, but what does that word mean? Their example to help you understand what the word making means is the sentence, make. the making of videos. Oh. That's well, a terrible... I that's I Google, it. that is awful. That's I build crash. content. I don't they know should do really something guys. in the dictionary where you, like, you go to see the definition of create and it says, go look at the definition of make. Then you go to the definition of make, and it says, see the definition of create. <laughs> Just An this endless, endless, endless loop of confusion. That's one of those, like, how to keep an idiot busy. I think this, busy. Is, this is how we'll defeat the AI systems once they uh, grow too powerful and try to overthrow us. We'll the simply remove the information of them being capable to comprehend the word making and creating, and then <laughs> put them into a process loop in which they'll have up. to find... The definition of both of them and put them into this camera out of my The AI already started talking too much. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh, fuck. 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 I mean, is it I is it fun? And I, I just never know. played it. I just only heard bad things, I and heard, no one ever wanted to play it. And all the people that uploaded videos yeah. of it said the videos did bad. <laughs> I was like, all right, I well, that, Brian's I heard normal Red Dead Two was good, but online. Brian was playing the single player. I thought on stream. Oh, uh, I don't know. I heard the single player is fantastic. I don't know. There's no games to play. I'm sad. I'm just gonna open Pokemon cards if you until I'm broke. You could play any game. What game would you play right now? If I could play any game right go now. Back in, if you could go back in time and experience the game that you were experiencing in the past, what would you pick? Fortnite season one. Let's go down. Honestly, like no. <laughs> Early Fortnite seasons were pretty lit, not gonna lie. Fortnite was actually pretty fun though. Yeah. You could snipe people with pump shotguns back in the day. Double pump, brother. Early, Double pump and each pump shot would blow up a whole wall. No, I don't know what I would do. I've never been one like, to like finish like big single player games. I don't have any of those that I'm like, man. Oh, I, I did. No, I meant like even for multiplayer, like just you know, a time you're like playing Black Ops 2 then. Probably Black God Ops 2. God 4. God 4. If I could go That's back and do and do exactly yeah. Black Ops 2 again, but Black Ops 2 was in this game. timeline where like I'm already got like a YouTube channel that's like successful and stuff, I think that would be really fun. Oh yeah. That would be cool. But then Black again, Ops what made it fun was the fact that like I was just some dumb idiot college kid in my parents' basement. That's <laughs> what made it fun. We were dumb. True. <laughs> 
We still First, are. Well, don't say word, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I think if you're too it's smart, different types of dumb. It sucks the fun out of stuff. Yeah, switch it off. Does, I don't know. I feel like sometimes if you're too, if you're dumb, anymore. you you don't think about a lot of the things that I don't know can make you unhappy. I'd rather or be too dumb, I stressed think out. What you're dumb in. Yeah. Maybe that's why drinking's fun. It makes you stupid. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think a lot of a lot of people it makes you very like carefree. Being carefree is fucking overthinkers. That's the dream, dude. Not giving a shit. That's 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 me. That's me. Ninety nine point nine percent not giving a shit. Yeah, that's you just way. gotta. You just gotta. That's give what a shit alcohol does. Makes you just not give a shit. You know, it's like, yeah. it's like fuck it, dude. Uncle, that's what Dustin Poirier said before he knocked Conor McGregor out. What don't he give a that's shit. literally what he said. That's what he said in the conference. He goes, "I don't care anymore." And then he went to knock Conor McGregor out. There you go. Because because previously he got knocked out by Conor McGregor like five years ago, five six. Years ago or so, he got knocked out by Conor McGregor, and he said that he got all really emotional, and he got upset that the media was all saying Conor McGregor was going to win, and then he got knocked out, and he was super butthurt. But he just came into the <laughs> conference, and he was just like, yeah, I don't care anymore. I don't care what anyone else says. I don't give a shit about nobody. And he knocked him out. So there you go. Sometimes not caring is just, that's the best, that's the best way to go Fuck about you, it. Fuck you, Karen. <laughs> yeah. Not Karen. Not Karen. <laughs> That dumb bitch Karen bitch. dude ruining all of 2020, dude. She was always popping up on the feed doing dumb shit. For real, dude. Yeah, she likes I like how name. names have become complete identities. Karen, Chad. What That's what do you a mean? new Names thing. have always been identities. That's why you've been <laughs> Nogla since you were born. The fuck? Yeah, I didn't know I was Nogla when I was born. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was David. So an identity can only be, be an identity if you're aware of it and you create around the identity or build or make whatever word you like, John. I mean, it depends on what you're doing. Yeah, it's actually, they, you got to use different words. I'm just saying. I feel like if I was in a relationship with John, we could probably you, argue for like, yeah, definitely. <laughs> we would probably argue for 40 minutes on oatmeal and Nothing. what's the best way to have oatmeal. I feel and like I could have great that, makeup that would sex be on the counter. Something <laughs> similar to oatmeal. that. Yeah, I can only eat a certain amount before it just starts feeling like it's blocking all my body parts. Because you're not eating oatmeal. What right? do you mean? Oatmeal is a perfect what do you mean for you're camping. Not, I just pour it in one little oatmeal, packet, right? fill your ass out. No, I just like need, I keep it in my mouth until my saliva softens it, right? I chew Every mine, bite I take but... a little uh, I drink a little bit of the packet that gives it a season. <laughs> no, that's not how you eat it. Uh, Are you talking about ramen? It's really crunchy. Are you talking, talking about, about ramen or we're talking about oatmeal? Talking about oatmeal. <clears throat> oatmeal I thought you were like talking about ramen. Like an apple, maybe you want like an apple cinnamon oatmeal, you know, you get the thing of the cinnamon and you pour it in the oatmeal. Ramen works too, but that's a lot of salt. I usually do my own seasonings. Mm. This, the stuff that comes in that ramen is pretty intense. It's good. I do half of it in my own seasoning, so I don't get four weeks of my daily fucking sodium. Guys, you know the way we're all older and stuff like that? Like, <gasps> we got someone who's How married here. Say we, that? Got someone with, we got someone with a kid here. You know, it's, we're getting who's old. Who's that? Right? Who has a kid here? I have a dog. I, I have people donating to me saying, hey, I watched you when I was 14. I'm 21 now. <laughs> yeah, I get that shit all the time. I'm like, dude, once our fans start getting kids too, that's when we're There's really There's a lot of screwed. comments now yeah. of like, you guys were my childhood. And I'm like, fuck, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, yeah. I'm so old. So it's like, we got to think. We got to think. We're not going to have a lot of time left to do a balls to the walls, boys boys thing you know what i yeah, mean I got time. What do you we mean? never did it we never actually did it we talked about doing you're like you're one to talk you're something. the one who's never showing up to stuff we go out and do stuff I, all look time. it's never been i went to a bar one time with you and you were watching fucking anime on your phone and after 30 minutes you left <laughs> well you were part of the one point one percent of the time tyler don't give me that shit Fuck off you're look, the 99 it depends what the anime was if i defend that position <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know what it anime like it was, but ago, if it was a really good it was one, like three years and ago I at left, it was probably to watch more anime. Yes, actually, that's I think it, I think that's you actually what watch happened. One Piece. Yeah. yeah, no, great anime. No, 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 no I'm not. Listen, it's listen. Great. Hopefully, we can watch it. Hopefully, together. this this coming year. Okay, you, I, you got something special, huh? Something well, special. I'm, I'm I'm buying a new house right now, and it's it's gonna be awesome. It'll be a great party house, and coming this summer. Let's go. If everyone's able to travel. I'm down to throw a bitch in like just I don't know week hangout. Or All something. right, well, okay. What about like uh, any months? July, August, September. <laughs> He's already trying to plan there. it. We're not planning it right now. We, we gotta know whether or not people can <laughs> travel without you know 
killing yeah, everyone around them and themselves. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Right. So July, August, or September. Well, you got to keep in what mind it's Nashville, and so in all of those months it's hot as fuck. But the new house has a pool, so. Oh, and I'm, yeah, dude. Yeah, but it ain't it California hot. It, it'd be fine. It's it's worse than California heat. How? Yeah, Why? Because it's, it's humid. It's humid. It's humid. You feel it a lot more. You, humid, can't, you walk outside and like it takes your breath away. Like, like what? What are we talking about here? What are we talking about? Talking if you have an experience that no, you wouldn't know, I don't know how to explain it. Are we talking about 100 Fahrenheit? Humid? No, you know how when you wake up with the sweaty legs? Imagine that feeling just being outside. That's what humidity's like when it's 100 plus. You just feel like you always wake up with the sweaty legs. telling me I'd lose weight. You would? Water weight, oh. just because you'd sweat so much. It's not like you would burn more calories or something. I guess maybe, maybe in theory, you burn more calories because you're moving through this thick ass moist air, you know? Yeah, it just takes more to like walk. <laughs> I still you think those slippers. are the best months to do it. I think um, June, would, I think June cool could be good. June, okay, June is like be before there. it gets too, too hot. June could probably be good. Yeah, I will. I will It'll I will be hot, be but not too hot, but good for the pool. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely not be there. The fuck, you won't be there. be there in June. He said we'll July, August, I'll or I'll be in Ireland. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll plan it around you. July. July 4th. We'll do it again. Because we've done that before and it was hot Let's as shit. Go. But this time, there's a pool. So, you know, that's going to combat the heat quite a bit. It's good. It. It's going to make the heat kind of worth it in a way, you know? Yeah. The pool will feel nice because you're escaping the heat. Inside will be True. nice. For oh. a weekend, yeah. For a weekend, yeah. Let's see. Like a Let's four or five day. day weekend. Make it a fucking party, dude. Uh, and I'm July not the anymore, 4th so like is a Sunday, boys. Off, like I'll yeah. be there. I'll be we there like, July we do like 2nd. Wednesday through Monday or something. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm going to be there July 2nd, and I'll be leaving <laughs> July 5th. He's already booked Bro, the flight. How flights. are you already planning this? <laughs> Let me look. That might be moving around that look, time. Just actually. get the ball rolling, boys. That's all. Just everybody <laughs> book a ticket. No balls. <laughs> all right. True. We'll look... With everybody will have their vaccine by then. Okay, Keep listen. Chilling. Aside aside from this 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 party, all right. What what any other plans for this coming year? I feel like Vegas. Really you want to go to Vegas? But... I do want to go to Vegas because Vegas is a lot of fun, and I haven't been. Okay, there a long all right. Time. I haven't been to Vegas that. in like almost three years. Uh, I think. How about Vegas in September? How about uh? Marcel Again, was talking about going for his birthday at one point. When's his birthday? That was, last year. that was that was May. May. That was a month. That was almost yeah, that was a year last ago. May. That was last it's May. Because it was his thirtieth. But the, I, I heard Old the casinos days. are opening back up again. I don't want to go just yet. <laughs> I'm not that <laughs> eager. September. 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 What was I just September? do not yeah. see you gambling at all. <laughs> I I'll, I'll have you know I I play card games with my American granny. Okay, Go listen. fish. Card, game, card no, games no, no. with your grandma are a lot different than fucking war. Bumping Played cocaine a lot of off a hooker's ass and okay. then fucking putting Shoots ten thousand dollars on black. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Okay. I, like, that's, <laughs> that's not what I'm thinking about when I think of Vegas. Well, I that's know what, what I'm you're thinking, thinking about. about. That's I'm thinking of Vegas. I'm thinking about. <laughs> But what, I'm, I'm, trying to, what try, I'm trying to explain is that I love card games and Vegas got card games and stuff like that. Yeah, but so most of the card games fun. are boring as shit. If you're talking about playing poker, you sit down at a table with a bunch of people you don't really know. Granted, if you have enough people, you can open a private table. You can make a private game. Yeah, we'd do that. That'd be fun. Blackjack is fun, but you're going to lose. True. Mm -hmm. It's all about it raps. Roulette is actually really fun, even though, again, the odds are against you. Roulette's fun lose. as shit. Always bet on double O. Also, I've heard craps is incredibly fun if you play with a group. It'll be fun with a yeah. I haven't played it before, but how many? How many do we need? Because we're really we're not going to be able to get everyone. But how many do you need for like let's say crap craps craps or craps? I think you can have like ten people craps. at a craps table. Ten. Yeah, at least. So in the mongos lobby, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get that then. Yeah, it's all, it's pretty hard to get ten. Anthony, would you go to Vegas? We're talking about going to Vegas now. We're talking about what. Plans for 2021, Any if there's anything at all. Because there's going to be no video games, boys. Do, yeah. video games there's no video games. We got to do something. Little... Ah, I do a lot of vlogging. That was actually my plan in 2020 was when video game, like when times got bored, I was going to hit like all you guys up and just see who would be down to just go travel somewhere for like five days or a week and just record it all and just explore a new country, I, I, city, I wouldn't be able culture. to get away for that long. I might get a few... Might get a, a weekend. Well, well, again, this was before I even knew you had a kid, first of all. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying 2020. That was my plan in 2020. Obviously, that didn't work out because. Yeah, I got bored about a dog. Ah, you can get someone to watch a dog for a week. You'd be like, 
I'm doing tomorrow. They have doggy there hotels. Uh, doggy hotels, you got to be good ones, though. There's a lot of He good stays ones. here. My True. friends just come and watch him. Oh, nice. They just so stay here in the guest room. Oh, that's pretty sick, actually. You could, that's a good friend right there. Yeah. Well, he gets to stay in a much nicer home and I was gonna say, he gets free eat my food and smoke my weed bit, and pet so. my dog. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty he's sweet like, deal. So he, he's not your friend. He's just some guy you know that's mutually benefiting. <laughs> he, he, just like, he just likes weed and dogs. <laughs> that's a great combo. Smoke a joint, pet this pooch, watch your Netflix. <laughs> I have a singing bowl. A singing, singing bowl. bowl. Is it where you Go do ahead. the thing around it? And it... Oh, Show us. Yeah. We need to see it. I need to see that thing. Like I have so a tiny cup of ice cream. <laughs> I like that. How's nice, John. <laughs> I hit my balls. How'd you hit your balls? It slid off to a little cushion. <laughs> ah. Because it has a little cushion. Because if it doesn't, then it won't. It won't. Then it doesn't resonate. Yeah. Or if I put my rings on, it's really annoying. Check this Where'd out. Where'd you get that from? Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Where'd Amazon. you get that from, John? Amazon? Nice, dude. That Jeff what? Bezos guy, what a guy. Stepping yeah, down as Amazon CEO, down. right? Fuck that guy. Yeah, it's because yeah. he's working on something else called Blue Shuttle or something. Oh, the spaceship? Blue Shuttle? Yeah. Is that like a bus for old men? Basically, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk are racing, racing to Mars. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Well, the first one to get there. Well, maybe the, one of them the takes us with them. <laughs> you know, they probably yeah. actually are going to have some sort of deal like that where they own the planet. Uh, They're who do they off. buy it from? Who owns it? Them. I don't know. Well, same way America was founded. Find your scapers, you know. Steal it. Well, find your scapers. That's not quite how it worked it. out with America. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you know the whole That's story. That's what thought. <laughs> it was... <laughs> The we finders, so the finders did not end up being the keepers, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no one was here. <laughs> the only thing well, the finders yeah, we have gotten to keep like but casinos. we were here first. Mm. You know what would be cool? If we could, if Pangea was still real. <laughs> yeah. Like current, you know, yeah, just fucking just like current world trip Pangea to Japan, dude. Dope. You, you just, just drive yeah, to Russia. Just, yeah. I just take a walk to Russia. Well, let's be real. None of us have a not doing that. They're fucking psychos. Well, how would that, that would be kind of yes. cool, though, right? I think some of my favorite... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Let's see how global warming goes. That'll do the job. I think some of my favorite content on the internet are Russian I'm dash cams. Pantry. My God, they are psychos. They always <laughs> deliver. <laughs> oh, it's fucking insanity over there, dude. Russian dash cams. It'll just be like, it'll be like a guy driving his car just a normal-ass day. He stops at a stoplight, and then all of a sudden, like, four naked dudes get out of the car in front of him and, like, rob him or some shit, like... That's literally like Russian dash cam footage, dude. And people just drive One of them's by. Like playing and they the never react. For no reason. Yeah. yeah, and they don't react. They're just like, oh, fuck this again. And they get on, like, <laughs> just a normal day, dude. <sighs> Guys, you got me last <sighs> week. <laughs> Russian dash cam footage is great. Yeah, there's some crazy shit. I also like watching the, uh, the failed insurance fraud ones. Where they just walk out from yeah. the car and drop. <laughs> In Japan, it's like some old lady just runs down the street. And the car like stops a foot in front of her. She just goes, she stares runs at into it. it. <laughs> oh my leg! Yeah, nice try. Fucking, right? I saw someone do that to an undercover cop, not in real life, but on a video. Watching funny. American dash cam footage pisses me off. Makes me feel like I need Why? a dash cam. Because holy oh, fuck, yeah. some of the drivers are so bad. It's like you watch, you just like. I do think that. I do think if you have a car, a, a dash idea. cam is a must. Yeah. And you're nice. Like there's there's been people that have been ultra. Nothing ever those. like makes me lose faith in humanity than watching like dash cam footage of like just terrible drivers. Like these people are so fucking stupid. Yeah, I guess the cages we have for like immigrants down south is fine. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Ice cream. Well, you know what I mean, John. Saying, that's what made him lose faith in humanity. Not faith. You know what I mean? Like make me like <laughs> think less of like the average person around me. I'm just like holy shit. We're surrounded by morons. Yeah, I feel it. Just like how. It's just so commonplace. You know, you know, you know, you know what I like. You know what I like. Ice I like cream. having. I like no. I like having a jacuzzi, man. Oh. My new house got a jacuzzi, nice. Nogla. Yeah, that's it. Wait, is it, that's wait, it. If is you it can get a jacuzzi, jacuzzi, get a jacuzzi. Right next to the pool? Yes, John. Fuck. Yeah, same, same, same of mine. It's dope, dude. Well, a Christian bit of advice. Once you get a bit of advice, Walker. Well, okay, once you get your jacuzzi, it heats up a lot faster than your pool. So. You generally will find that you won't you use the pool very much. You'll end up using the jacuzzi. You tell me the jacuzzi, okay. a thing meant to heat up, heats up faster than a During pool. During the goes. summer is why I need the pool. It's because for eight months out of the year, you step outside and you think you're going to melt. 
That's yeah, why true, there's true. the pool. Well, I, I, I That's why I left Florida. Yeah, you um, moved from Florida to another Denver. place. <laughs> you moved from yeah. Florida to someplace else. I would How's say that been? Florida to Colorado is. Quite How's good it been? been? Been in another place. It's nice. I saw, I saw the actually. I saw the house. The house. I saw a vlog, or some Can't vlog, right? One. Yeah, yeah. And one. the house, Jenny. The house is looking rough. How's it now? What do you mean it looking? That was that was forever ago though. <laughs> that was forever. Back when it was getting constructed, I was like, I can't see this that, becoming a house. I don't. I mean, the this. first half there, like, yeah, I saw a vlog. It looked shit. <laughs> I'm, just say, I'm just saying, the house was looking rough because it was just getting constructed. I was like, Anthony I don't see saw where this my is house going. In a pretty rough state, it's come a long, long way since then. Yeah, I, I struggle. I struggle to, to look at houses that are like, barely done but have like shells. I struggle to look at them and think, yeah, this is going to be nice. I just can't do it. I understand. Well, how is it? Is it is it nice now? Yes, it's, it's it's nice now. There's walls. Walls are nice. There's carpet. Sick, There's dude. even some windows, you? a door, a roof. Yeah. What? Is it? Oh, Scotty's Our battery. Walls. Oh no. Yeah, your battery's low. We see it. We see it red. No. <laughs> we all know. He's gone, dude. He's gone. Yeah. Tragic. Yo, you know what else I'm gonna have when you guys come? Um, I'm gonna mm -hmm. have. Dude, so first of all, the house has woods. Umbrellas. We have like eight. Nice. We have like eight acres of woods, but I'm gonna have side nice. by sides. I want to watch Nogla drive a fucking side by side. Well, what's the, I'm what's the side a, by side? A side, side by. by it's side? like a, a purpose built off road vehicle. So essentially, it's like they like a Is little it like buggy. The razor things. Yeah, the razors. Oh, okay. Exactly. It's like a buggy, but they're no, like they're no, like I'll really fucking fast, like 100 to 200 yeah, horsepower. Oh, yeah, okay. How fast crazy. does it go? How fast does it go? They'll go like 90 to 100 if you have like the highest end models. I won't go. Okay, I won't be going out. Well, yeah, you're really not going to go 100 miles an hour through my fucking woods. There's you trees need to build and shit. Up for that. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll give you, you like the shit in the what woods. What you need, Wildcat. Listen here. Listen here, Mr. Vanos. This might know you get Mr. Vanos over there. Paintball. You come over for Airsoft. Too, airsoft. Right? Air shooting. Paintball. Paintball. Airsoft. I would get a real gun range. We could shoot real guns. Yeah, but we yeah, okay, yeah, Charlie, with real guns. Okay, that would that would be okay, nice, right, but, be but I'm just saying, That's like, we could we could have a paintball war or something in the back of the woods. John. That'd be fun. Paintball would be fun. Yeah, yeah. That, fun Vanos would 100 percent go for that. But I think if we do, we have to all be naked. <laughs> That's fair. That is fair. I mean, it's gonna be hot. I don't want to be not running sure, around with heavy not clothes. Sure how Evan would you just don't want to get your one. sack caught on any like mis mis miscellaneous like sticks or vines or anything yeah. hanging around the woods you know well i mean it'd be mm. another story for nogla to have though. your sack caught on a thorn bush <laughs> oh, you think the I paint paint I, I, that that that's that's one story enough that's uh, good. <laughs> All right. good good we can tack some more on later i'm more worried about getting shot the bear nuts can you imagine bear you, have bear you have bear nuts <laughs> <laughs> Big party here, bear nuts. Got him. Smitty. Sounds like you need you. manscape. <laughs> I miss you. The call back. How long do you think my manscape is going to take to get delivered? <laughs> it should be there now. Oh, oh he's going to go check. <laughs> there he goes. He's shaving his pubes well, right now. My, I have a Sony <laughs> A7R. This shit is cost stupid amount of money, but it overheats and then it turns off. You should get a fan blow. A6400 going camera. strong. Oh, it is hot as fuck, though. But it's going strong. Yeah, mine turns off when it gets too hot. It's just like, I don't want to work no more. Put ice cubes on it. Um. Yeah. Just put it right in the battery. Put it right in the battery. Right in the battery. Right in the butthole. Battery. Well, right shit, battery. guys. Any, 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 any other plans 2021? Are we all just going to... Be stuck inside uh, playing Minecraft and hating life. Plans? Not really. I just mean like I just mean like we're doing. not even really plans. I guess more of just like ambitions or just like. Hey, quick question. I want to make. Who's who's, who's going to win? Who's going? Let me get the webcam fixed for this one. This is a big question. This is we're not fucking about here. Hold on. I guess let's get this fixed here. Who's going to win what? I don't know. Oh, there we go. The Ooh. Super Bowl or what? Okay. Who's going to win between King Kong and Godzilla? The movie comes Godzilla. out. Godzilla. Godzilla, I'd yeah, say. Godzilla. Godzilla is an alpha, alien. Dog. He's extraterrestrial. He's, he's the alpha, dude. Laser beams out of his uh, mouth. Yeah, but that's the thing. He's, he's the king cool of the monsters. Primal ape, just. I think. Like, I King think Kong King Kong. Kong I think prowess. King Kong is a bit of an underdog, and because of that, he'll have some sly moves. <laughs> prepared for Godzilla. Kong Poo. 
Yeah, he might oil check Godzilla. What does, yeah, oil, what what does Godzilla do then? How does Godzilla what's react Godzilla to a King Kong oil check? Oil check? <laughs> How does he react? What if, what if exactly. Godzilla has a self-destruct button up there and it blows them both up? I'm waiting to see the, the, the movie reviews That movie's on actually YouTube. sick. I'm telling you, I hate... I hate you cool. know what? I've been in California a few months. I hate that Gavin Newman, dude. That guy is a little rat boy, okay? <laughs> That guy's a little rat boy. Is he a producer? Dude, or he, ju he just he just opened up shit, right? Opened up stuff, right? After having a big old dinner for himself. His approval rating is true to the roof. Can't wait to be vote someone else in. He, he's a rat boy for sure, bro. That fucker better have the AMC near me open for King and Godzilla, dude. Kong and Godzilla. That he better have it, dude. He better is it, have is it, it gonna be on like HBO Max? You can like just HBO, watch it from yeah. home. Yeah. I want to be in the theater for it. The theater, the AMC near me gives you like food and everything. You just sit you down and say, here's your pizza. You want I, I almost, no, but I guarantee, I guarantee. And the, and, the, and the seats are nice. I get, no, oh, I guarantee you could probably like get that. a few people together and rent out the theater. I did that. I did that for Elias, Elias uh, birthday. And, and even Evan came to it. We had a great time. It was about 10 of us in there. I rented the whole theater out for that, that, uh, Freaky Friday movie with that uh, with that guy and it was actually pretty funny. There you go. It was with that guy from Dodgeball. I, Let's just know, do it again. Whatever. Vince Vaughn. Yeah, but it's Vince closed. Vaughn. Yeah, so stupid. Gavin closed it while he's there jacking off millionaires yeah, public, in, a, in a fucking restaurant. The they could probably do a private event still. I bet. Dude, Tell I me won't wear masks. I, I love it. I hate. I hate that guy. <laughs> he's the only person I hate. Gavin Newman. <laughs> like it, it, he reminds me of like. A mayor of Gotham. That's <laughs> Gavin Newman is basically just the mayor of Gotham. That's that's the kind of vibes I get off him. I thought that was Andrew Cuomo or whatever. That's the governor of New York. Right? That's New York. Or the yeah. mayor is that the mayor? Off. Mayor of New York. Got the guy that lied about nur uh, nursery home debts. Dog, <laughs> love that. That's yeah, talking about yeah, lied lied about old people dying. What a guy. Old people burning, old people burning. Put your hands up. Old people burning. People don't know that reference. Burning. John. That's kind of messed up. Jean John Lejoie. Yeah, that's dude. just Jean yeah. Lejoie, dude. Where, Show me your genitals. You don't know oh, Jean Lejoie? Show me your genitals. Same guy. Your genitalia. Just a regular, everyday, normal guy. Yeah, that, that song. Women are stupid and I don't <laughs> respect them. That's the quote. That's right. I just have sex with them. <laughs> that's Show me the your quote. genitals. <laughs> That's the quote. <laughs> yeah, that guy's definitely of... canceled. Yeah. He Dude, there was just one video he did, sure. and it was so good. He was like, a lot of people have a hard time understanding how to say my name, and I figured I'd make this video to clear it up. It's pronounced John, and it just ends. It's so <laughs> <good>. <laughs> <laughs> fucking I'm going to steal hard. that idea because people actually <laughs> struggle with my one still. Yeah, but then what would you do? End the video. What do you mean? Just say, pronounce my name. Have that be the challenge trailer. Yeah, but that's not why it's, well, that's not funny. Why it's, funny. Like, it's funny last because his last name is like hard to pronounce. Oh, his last name is hard to pronounce? Yeah, his yeah, last name is like L-A-J-O-I-E or some <laughs> shit. Even... Look, I, like, I didn't get the joke. <laughs> Mona said just, it was oh, funny without Monday understanding why it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was funny because his name is John. Oh, I should do that. <laughs> and no one really needs to know how to pronounce John. This guy's hilarious. That's what I thought. I mean, the joke still hit just a little bit differently. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's uh, the type dude. of man John is, you know. He just I he made has different jokes voice. for everyone, whether they get it or not. What are you eating, yeah. Anthony? I want some. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. What's your favorite ice cream? This one. <laughs> Yo, you know it's a movie Suck that would never, way. ever, ever be made? What? Ever uh, again? Two girls, one cup, two. <laughs> <laughs> maybe John, maybe the one where it's like you scratched my CD in broad daylight. The ringer, the ringer. That will never the be ringer, made again. Right? No. That, uh, Most how, early two thousand stuff. I, won't. Yeah, I feel like a lot. Well, you know, I, I was stuff. talking. To, I was talking to my brother about that word, the R word. Okay. Um, ringer, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah about the, <laughs> you smooth, yeah. John. Smooth. But apparently, he 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 has a degree uh, specialized in APA. Applied physical activities, and it's basically there to help people that have like physical handicaps or you know special needs, etc. Right? So he went to work in a place that you know houses people with special needs. Apparently, they use that word all the time towards each other every day. Oh, yeah, that's their every word. Every day, 
that's their insult to each other. Gay people say the F word. And then I was like, I was like, so is that kind of like the N word for them? Like only they can say it, but people who aren't yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, that's it? why you're allowed to say the R word. <laughs> ah. <laughs> they take the power back, dude. Yes. It's all about taking yes. the power. They can call themselves R words, but we can't call them that because yeah, we're, I'm thinking it's it's what, going to become kind of like the next the next kind of N word. Yeah. I feel like I said I just, this like having nice. images all, of like people in the hood. I think it's hood. all like considered ableist. <laughs> they walk in, they're like, "Yo, what's up, my arms?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> but yeah, they call him the. They call it. He 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 just said it's failed me. That's how they. It like to them, it just means you're calling someone a dumbass. They don't see it like I mean, that's what a it lot means of people. To us. Say that's it, why we that's used to say it. That's, what, that's why it's yeah, offensive. Yeah, when we use it. <laughs> Yeah, but they use it to call each other dumbasses. Yeah, well, yeah, you're talking works. about a small focus group, right? You have, like, one place where your brother worked. I'm pretty sure loads of them are doing it. I can't. I'm pretty sure loads of them are doing it. I'm willing, I'm willing to put, a, guys, I'm willing to to put a bet on it, at least Look, in I'm Ireland and the UK. They're probably doing it. Maybe in America, I, they're, like, a bit more sensitive, and they just call each other morons. But basically, you know, Ireland, UK, I probably the R word. And they were they were talking about taking the R word back and like how it only people like with the mental condition able to say it. So yeah, there you go. I think it's, it's fair. There you go. I think it's fair if like they can still use it. Well, if Same you're born that F-word. way, you, you, I think it's fair. It's fair. It's like, I mean, yeah, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga made a song about it. <laughs> Why? I was born <laughs> this way. For, oh yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah. Why did people used to think she had a penis? I don't know. It did kind of um, look like it. Didn't she, did she sing like a song about it or something? Take think it right on my disco stick. Really? Wasn't that her? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, she, she, was looking, she was looking sus for a minute for sure. <laughs> yeah, I she, do know that I do she, know she sacrifices babies and drinks their blood, though. That's definitely, she definitely does that. What? I mean, you got to keep say? the talent. Sacrifices <laughs> babies and drinks their blood. It's a Hollywood, common Hollywood practice. Oh. No good knows. He read it somewhere and he lives there. Do you partake now that you live out there? I've learned too much. <laughs> I've learned going to be if, if I die it wasn't learned. a suicide guys just saying it was mm-hmm. Lady Gaga killing you and drinking your blood <laughs> yeah You're I, hate not a that, baby. I hate that bitch <laughs> she did wear she did have like a full, I actually do like, have a reason to hate her meat, though right? I have a genuine reason to hate her I'm not just I'm just not gonna say it I'm we'll trying to guess the reason that nobody hates Lady down. Gaga <laughs> that lying huh? bitch <laughs> I think you hate Lady Gaga because hmm you don't like her music. She was God, a favorite well, musical artist of go. one of your exes. Ooh. No, no, I couldn't give a shit about it. I, I wiped my my <laughs> memory clean of anything anyone preferred. <laughs> I'm just taking a guess, man. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying to guess exist why you don't in my like life. I, their preferences the also show. do not exist. That's Sky, one thing. I always, I always found that weak. Like, I think this is a weak mindset, okay? This is a bit of... Yeah, I'm Sunday kind through of, Saturday. Weak mindset. Being okay with no, losing is a weak mindset. No, yeah. Ex- also, this is a weak mindset. If you, <laughs> if you watch a show with someone, you're in a relationship, you watch the show with them, right? You enjoy the show, but because you break up, you no longer like watching the show. How much did you really enjoy the show then? Obviously not that fucking much. Well, that's not how it Obviously works. Obviously not that much. That is weak. Like, that is a weak it mindset. It's more of just now it sucks that something you liked reminds you of it's something that sucks that you don't like oh, anymore. I, no, I couldn't. Because then I'll remember, oh okay, man, well, I am so happy to watch this like show that. without them. You know what I mean? That's the way you got to think. You got to spin it and be like, wow, uh, it's John, really enjoyable John? to watch this on my own. John, are you okay? John, are you all right? the belt out. What the f- John, 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 you got, He's pants, got pants under, those under pants? his pants. Why, John? Just in case you Dude, shit the hard. first or something? It was cold. Well, if he shit the first pants and then took off the pair outside of it, he would still be in the <laughs> shitty pants, so that logic doesn't check out. No, he just inverts them or something. Anthony, don't speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, you know what it is? You know, you could actually make this work if you had zip pants, you know those 90s zip pants that go the whole no, way no, down? No, no, not the zip pants. Yeah, yeah. The, the the ones they wore. The, the basketball warms up. Warm up. Yeah, oh, the tearaways. The snap oh, buttons. You Shit, them off. Dude, I used to have a pair later, of those. Bud. Those are so fucking cool. How many people had, had those pants to sit in front of a mirror and try to do the uh, the Bruce Almighty? Mine didn't disconnect at the waist. I don't know why. Mm. But that is a weak mindset. You didn't really like the show. If you, 
it's like even music it doesn't matter you didn't really like that song i, I, I disagree i again. disagree it's weak mindset weak i mindset. disagree well and that's why that's why i love loads of people that's angry at me on something Twitter if something this. you used to like now makes you think of something you don't like or something that makes you sad you know it could be breaking up with the ex it could be like a family member or something that passed away then you don't mm. like it as much anymore. Well, I guess that's a little different, right? Because you would probably be, it would make you think of someone you did like. It, it, but you know yeah, I mean. yeah. It depends on the level of reminiscence you got. You know, if it's a fine memory, it can you'll like listen to the song. It something you liked. Like that. I don't think that's a weak mindset. That's but, just normal. I well, I mainly I apply it to TV shows, though. You know, it's for instance, right? Shows. Like I used to like Fortnite, right? And then they added mechs to the game and skill-based matchmaking. You know, and so now when I think about it, it just makes me think. It just makes me sad. <laughs> really? Why is it on your head right now then? <laughs> Free Fortnite. I don't know. They sent me this hat and I thought it was funny. They were trying to get Apple. That shit is that was a, good. It's like an old Macintosh. Oh, you didn't see man. it? They were like trying to, because the App Store was like taking a big fat cut out of all the people that bought V-Bucks and shit oh, off right. mobile. So they were yeah. like, they were like, fuck Apple and their Monopoly where you have to put shit on their App Store where they take a fat cut. That's what mm -hmm. they were trying to do. So they, they gave these hats to influencers. So I don't play the game anymore, but they still send me shit like this. I got a Nerf pistol too that shoots. Nerf, yeah. Nerfs. Oh, not real bullets. Over there. No, not real bullets, unfortunately. I do have a gun that shoots real bullets, but... Tennessee boy. Yeah. There's some Canto power boxes back there? Right there. Yeah, buddy. Did you get some more of them? Yeah, because the fucking box, the booster boxes are going through the roof, and I was like, oh, these haven't really climbed up in price much, so I was like, I'll just buy three more of those. Plus, I wanted the Mewtwo one, which is blue, and I never had any of those. I only had the Dragonite Pidgeot ones. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon cards. Yeah. Are an addiction. Uh. Fucking Pokemon, dude. And I wonder if I still have fixed. any of mine from way back. Yeah, I got rid of mine Probably in high school, somewhere. I think. Sold them at a garage dude, sale. I, I actively remember ripping up energy cards. <laughs> like they're still, they're still worthless. You can <laughs> still rip them up. I never stole my Yu-Gi-Oh cards <laughs> and I cried. Someone stole I them? Did, I had Yu-Gi-Oh books. I was tough. I had some Yu-Gi-Oh. No, I had Digimon, not Yu-Gi-Oh. I never had... I can't vividly remember having like any Pokemon cards that were like that good. I mean, I know I had oh, some I that I liked. I think the only yeah, like yeah, cards yeah, that I had that I remember liking were like the promo cards because that was the only ones I'd ever get. Cause I, I never, back then, my parents didn't have money to like buy me a bunch of Pokemon packs and stuff to open. So like, I never had like a shit ton of packs that I ever opened and never pulled anything good. Like, I never had a Charizard. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Now that you mention it, 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 it hard, did fucking suck growing up poor. Man, growing up poor sucks, dude. It wasn't like poor, poor or anything, but it was like, obviously I'm not nah, opening I, I hundreds was. of dollars of Pokemon packs or whatever as a fucking eight-year-old kid or whatever. I got Kanko Soul. <laughs> <laughs> I got Kanko Soul. Yeah. I grew up, too. We all grew, we've all grown up in many ways. Hey, you, you know there's a new movie, Denzel Washington, in it? Yeah, with Jared Leto and Rami Malek. Yeah, I'm going to watch that tonight. What is all it? Right. <laughs> I don't know what the name is. It's on HBO Max. Another one of those murder it. detective fucking movies. Oh, cool! The same trope. Wait, like He's Knives Out ground. or a different one? That was no. sick. That was a sick movie. Knives Out was, no, Knives like, out? That was murder recent, detective wasn't? movie. That like, was a oh, sick there's movie. a crime, and the lead character is a detective mm. trying to solve is it that brutal murder. I like it. I like it. It sounds very <laughs> typical. That's what he said, yeah. But Denzel Washington, so it kind of works. Exactly. It's, it's like the Equalizer. Say. If that movie had anybody but Denzel, they'd be shit. But since yeah. they have Denzel in them, they're true. shit but fun. What was that one Denzel one where I, I don't? He's like on the train in the subway or whatever. Uh, what's that? What's that? What's uh, that? What's that? that? Something about the Steven Seagal. That, no, that's a, yeah, that's a, that's that's something about Pelham, I think. It's that was a, a good movie. movie. I like that one. Steven Seagal, watch Steven Seagal movies. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Evan's, Evan's Dude, always telling like, me about those dog shit Steven Seagal isn't movies. That, like, bad action movies. <laughs> yeah, I watched so one with him. It was movies. great. That's There's one of the most fun things to do time. with friends is watch just a truly shit movie that's so bad that you can just sit there and dog We used to do time. that with Mr. Sark. That was like the yep. best shit about E3 was getting in a fucking Uber for an hour and 20 minutes to go to his place in North Hollywood to go in his backyard and watch shitty movies on the projector screen. <laughs> You can do Everybody that. You else can do is that. going out to like parties. They're gonna go drink. We would go to this fucking Sark's house. You can do that. You can do that if there's an E3. Oh wait, nah, nah, I won't be here. <laughs> right, when's E3? June. He's not, well, I don't. He's, if they're having one, I don't think they already anymore. canceled it this year. Yeah, he doesn't live yeah, there. I think it's probably canceled. canceled. I know. Yeah. 
I got a backyard projector and all that jazz. I want to do stuff like that. Man, I only got a front yard, and when I put it in the backyard, it didn't work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where do you buy backyard projectors, dude? I only got a front yard one. <laughs> Bullshit. That system. That'd be fun. I remember doing that one. I think it was, I mean, obviously, it was with you, Tyler. But I think that was when we saw Fateful Findings. Yeah, Neil Breen what movies. What a fucking... What a fucking... That was a disaster. <laughs> It's all about Birdemic, baby. Yeah, Birdemic. Birdemic. Oh, Hard my God. Hard Ticket to Hawaii. What was another one? That was a classic. Hard Ticket to Hawaii was a classic. Yeah, there was the a fucking like music in that I remember really watching a really bad one at your house. Well, I kept that one was great with that, the titties on the that, screen. That was Hard Ticket to Hawaii. That was just hard the ticket, yeah. It was literally just random titties for no reason. That's because like, I literally None think... of the movie ever indicated anything yeah, so those that are, movie those had no story to it at all. So those are Andy Sedaris movies. And so the story behind that, according to Sark... Uh, was that Andy Sedaris, I guess, used to edit like NFL film stuff together, like highlight reels and stuff like that. But he always aspired to be a movie director. Well, he got money. He was like, fucking, I'm going to make my own movies, right? So he made these Titties. spy movies that in his mind were on par with James Bond. Like they were fucking the shit, right? But he was on a budget. It was close. And I'm pretty confident every actor and or actress he got was a porn star because <laughs> they all had huge big tits and terrible at acting. Massive. Garbage. Oh. Yeah. 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 I remember, and, I remember and so I, he would have these movies with like these terrible plots that are like taking themselves super serious, but with terrible acting, terrible writing. And because it took itself serious, it was hilarious to watch. And yeah. So, and there were a lot of tips yeah. because Andy Sedaris was a huge fan of titties. So he would just have these actors with big Into tits. People. Like, yeah, no, this scene, I get that you're on the phone, but what, hear me out. What if you're on the phone with your tits out? And that's the scene. <laughs> that's the scene. Right? I'm 100% was just an excuse for him to see a lot of titties. Yeah, I, I, I went through a phase of watching bad movies with Aliyah. And one of the movies is, is pretty funny. It's, it's these guys that open up a vegan fast food joint. But what they're actually serving is cut up humans. So they, they basically go around killing humans. <laughs> it's a vegan it's a vegetarian they're sounds like pretty plant based dumb. burger but it's acting, yeah, they're straight up cannib bad. cannibalist and then they like bring back plot. some weird like goddess and that's when shits get really it's what is it it's like this really fucking I literally googled worst 80s worst horror 80 movies 80, 80s movies and it had like 5% and I goes, that's there's like a the crucial, one we're watching. There's like a crucial level, right? Like there's bad movies where you just watch it and it's just boring the entire time. The movie has right. to be so bad that it's hilarious to watch. Like, but it can't, yes. be, it can't be intentionally bad to try and be hilarious. Because like we watched Birdemic. Yeah. Then like the Birdemic sequel was like kind of spoofing on itself. And it like wasn't as funny because they were trying to be funny. Right. It's more of like the movie has to be so bad but take itself serious. There needs to be zero self-awareness whatsoever. Yes, that's what's great about Neil Breen movies. That is what's great. He thinks they are it, fucking classics. I, I love the credits too. How it's just like every single thing in the movie is just Neil Breen, Neil, sound design, Neil <laughs> Breen. Everything is just <laughs> Neil Breen. It's just fucking great. Like the thing is, I think the 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 worst genre of movies in terms of quality is horror movies, next to comedies. So if you're going to look for a shit shit genre. movie, you definitely got to look for really shit horror movies. They are like I feel like horror can just be so good or dump. bad though. I feel like there's barely an in between. Even with the horror games. Horror yeah. games are so hit or miss. You know, YouTube's got a crazy, like, good collection of movies for free. I don't know that. Yeah, they've got, like, free, just, they've got loads of, somewhere. like, really good free movies. So, for example, like, there's, the, there's the Cube movie. I watched the, the Cube. That is, that's worth watching. <laughs> it's free on it's, YouTube. Describe worth watching. Uh oh, it's just it's just hilariously dumb. Like it, it they they managed to have the most diverse group uh, of actors, you know, ethnically and gender and everything, but still managed to be racist and sexist and everybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> like they make the black guys super violent and aggressive for some reason. <laughs> I like. They may they make the woman seem super dumb, but then she ends up being smart about one thing. Like fucking. It's like <laughs> Yeah, like making sandwiches. They, <laughs> fucking Wall super, yeah, like, super racist. It basically is like movie. there's this old like movie trope and Aaliyah like told me about it where they put like 
you used to do it in old, like old movies typecast. or stuff like that. And, and well, it's typecasting, but the, the thing was like, you know, America is definitely racist because mm-hmm. there was only one black character and they made him the villain. It's like, and apparently that's like a common theme in like old shitty movies. It's like, like they, they do have modern them. movies. Every villain is the Russian. Really, they do it in modern. Yeah, movies. yeah. It's like the Russian like, or the Chinese hell? or something. So yeah, this movie it's it's a mess. It's a joke, and it's free on YouTube. And it, and <laughs> it's and, one and advertisement. And they it's have comment mess, sections as well. So after you finish the movie, you can watch the comment section. Didn't you think that Cube movie was a little racist when he made the black guy the violent person that like be his partner and everything? Ask her like about that? the other Don't movie. You think that's racist that they put the only black person as the villain in the whole thing. The vegan one. No, Ask, this isn't the, the vegan one. Problem. And then Ask you about were it saying, though, like, the he used to do that where they would yeah. put like black people as the bad people. <laughs> He's in his own Nogla world, Anthony. Give him a moment. You I told know. me that stuff. Ads for when they were making cocaine. Come over here. The mic's here. <laughs> For when they made cocaine illegal would be like, oh yeah, cocaine turns black men into the big strong gorilla man. And like what that's literally fuck? what the yeah. ads would fucking say. What was this? I, mean, I believe it. It was like in the sixties and seventies. Whenever they spread coke yeah. through all the, the neighborhoods. No, ask, I believe her it. The, ask her the name Probably of the, the, the vegan cutting people up movie. What was the vegan horror movie that was really but they served human meat? Yeah, no, not it the was Texas so... Chainsaw Massacre. No, it's not that. It's <laughs> <laughs> not the restaurant. <laughs> 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 Ryan, that's the one. Shitar. <laughs> Shitar. Shitar was, was like the queen. Diner time something whatever. Hold on. Sh- sh- You're not allowed to say Shitar. You'll get canceled. <laughs> uh, Blood Diner is what it's called. Oh, is it? You I got, got it. Puppy. Oh, yeah, yeah, we saw Bosch. Yeah, we've seen Bosch movies. That movie is absolute garbage. Hey, Shitar, that's my the evil girl. Egyptian goddess. Damn. Yeah. I was just telling him because like, we were talking about bad movies and that you can get loads of really bad oh, free movies on this. YouTube. <sighs> that's well, a Hulk a Hogan Christmas see... movie that's on Netflix. That sounds Starring incredibly Hulk awful. <laughs> that's... You, can, you can watch Rebound for free. 2005 you all, comedy. You can watch my videos Classic. for free. <laughs> you can also watch those for free. Black Knight from 2001. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. What's this one? Oh. Oh, look at the cute doggy. Pee yeah. on him, Bosch. <laughs> shit on his Take head. Take a shit, Bosch. Oh, he's That's taking a shit. They're encouraging him to poop. Oh, he's taking oh, a shit. Look at the little licks. Oh. He's so tiny. He's God, cute. Yeah, I he's, like very, him. He's, a miniature, he's a miniature schnauzer. My parents he's, actually, one of he's actually really cool. We got him a little cage. He just goes in there on his own. Just... He only goes in the cage when he does something bad, though. That's yeah, but he just he chills. He's like, chill. He's like, so he rats out on himself. He's, 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 he's like, oh, where's the shit? I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I shit on the floor. Oh. I'm to go in the cage. Oh, shit. I, I shit on the oh. stairs. Well, hey, guys, we've been going for like two hours. I appreciate you guys yeah. going hanging out. I'm not trying yeah. to have. I'm not. You know. I'm not. Sorry, trying to ended you guys on a weird pause. note. No, hey, that's fine. What? What weird note? We got to see there a cute little. There's definitely some puppy. weirder notes we could have ended it on. Yeah, yeah. honestly, we started on some really <laughs> we weird. We started notes. on a much weirder note. <laughs> there were some weird notes in the beginning and the middle, and then some at the end as well. So I think we just rounded it out pretty well. To be perfectly honest, yeah. But, yeah. Overall, yeah. I would say it's a great composition. Yeah, hate, it's always but, good to end with a dog. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for coming and hanging out. It was fun, and I'm sure we'll do it again soon. Uh, What's 2012? If somehow you guys watching this don't know these guys, their li- their channels are linked yeah. in the description. 407 Cryos Gaming, Dahidin Ogla, <gasps> myself, and Big Jiggly Panda. Okay, everybody, have a great night. That's us. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for listening and for watching. Thanks for coming out. Make sure <laughs> bye, you get Manscaped. Bye, Bosh. <laughs> Manscaped. Bye, Bosh. Say bye to Bosh. Bosh could really use a Manscaped razor. Wave to the camera. Yeah, Bosh got no, some. No, he's got to be closer. Yeah, get him close. Get him close and wave. Right in the out. camera. Right in there. Get him right Goodbye, in there. Goodbye, Bosh. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Bye, Bosh. Look go. at that sweet there puppy. Hey, eye That's contact. Eye contact. That's a puppy. <laughs> Your dog is a shit actor. Shit YouTuber. Holy yeah, shit. He's I, never going to be air, bud. Never. Never. Oh, it's okay. Okay, I'm hitting Hard stop record now. Air, okay.